last thing for Claire is Claire ready to go to the battle. She's ready to get back at the person kidnapping her sister. And then you had to leave, which is it just had to be what happened. So we assumed what happened was you entered your spider form, which was kind of crazy and all sorts of weirdness. And then um combat started so but the thing is we couldn't like just have your npc rush at them because that would be weird to have a combat where you were involved and like you could get injured and <laughs> possibly killed off camera which i didn't want to happen so what happened was you just rushed into the fog and i assume fought dogs or something and then uh after the humongous creature showed up uh probably looked at it in horror and ran away with two of the other characters which uh which ended up leaving the combat uh, as for how the combat went, um, <clears throat> lots of stabbing uh, between the undead and magical Shank being thrown through the air via uh, via your wizard. Who had, I'm about to say, who had the magical Shank? Um, Derek, it wasn't quite the Shank wasn't magical per se, just really sharp, and he kept using his mental ability to try to push it back to him so he could keep stabbing her with it. Uh, Ooh, cool. And his undead would punch her in the back every time she turned around, and then at one point he turned around and said enough and burnt him to ash <laughs> just basically took the skeleton creature and burnt him to a pile of dust Sad. and then uh yeah but it didn't matter by the time um she decided to pull out the big guns uh she had dean in front of her with a big flaming sword who then ran her through like a shish kebab uh luckily dean i assume did not aim for anything vital and just sort of run her through uh in a very dramatic fashion and then she passed out Okay. That's the that's the simple form of it. Uh, the one thing I didn't really cover was the thing she summoned, which was a big, giant, twenty foot version of one of the dogs, who she named Mister Pumpernickel. And that's just how what its name is. And Mister Pumpernickel, unfortunately, did not get a chance to do anything because his mindset is to protect her, and when she's down, he has no reason to exist, so he decided to leave. That is just how it goes. So she tries summons her trump card, comes out big, cool. She had dog like two monster, health left. She did. and she passed out. She said she passed out. It just happens. Yep. Okay. He, 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 he could have went after the big creature, that she would have had another round, and the creature could have wrestled. You guys didn't want that. You're like, oh no, no, no. We're gonna end this right now. So I said, okay. Um. Meanwhile, I on the complete. Derek finishing her off. Meanwhile, fifty miles away, uh, Eddie gathered up the remaining cheerleaders and such and cheerleaders your sister and whoever was there and decided to try to bring them into safety had a small run-in with a weird driver dressed kind of like carmen Ryder with a big full helmet and armor plate and decided i don't want to take that van and ran off into the woods basically well hardly walked into the woods with a group of people <sighs> meanwhile dean uh, decided that he wanted to catch up with them, so he turned into his bird form, which, uh, you, I know, you, you saw, you can see our first transformation, turned into his bird form, flew over slowly, and eventually met up with Dean, and decided to play uh, the Blair Witch Project with a group of children, <laughs> with a group of teenagers. That's uh, he didn't That's scare funny. them, and Eddie prevented him from making contact with him, just so that he didn't terrify them more. Whew. Meanwhile, everybody else decided to steal a car and they stole a um station a wagon station wagon uh from the school parking lot dropped off you who they found passed out and uh claire as well no wait sorry claire was passed out and viola was passed out for healing everybody we assumed that she would just go around patching everyone up so they put her and you back in your homes while you were passed out they probably came up with some sort of excuse like oh we after school practice or something and the parents were like yeah whatever and just took you home yep although they have no parents, idea what my hobbies are your parents claire would be a little concerned because your sister is also missing but we'll worry about that later you, mm -hmm. you be you can't answer questions when you're asleep so <laughs> okay which then leads us back to the van where you now have eight people in it we, we went through a count of how many people are in the van it is eight it's a very very tight van um so in this van i'm going to go to my list we have samantha sweeney uh francesca de la cruz dana maxwell your sister who oh can we give her a name please so i don't have to keep referring to them as your sister Stephanie. it's 
fine. As long as you just give me a name, I could just, yep. just use that instead. What was that? Is that some weird creature in the background? <laughs> what creature? It sounds like something bourbon. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, so when you give me a name, I will rename her. Uh, I don't know if you want me to continue on with who else is in. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. We have uh, Eddie, Dean, Amos, and uh, Derek. And I think that's everybody in the van. <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, finally, we got a full boat. You have a full, you have a full van. And they just woke up Linda, who the first thing she did was, of course, curse up a storm, look around not know what's going on because she's now with a group of people that she never really met she met you guys in the other form so she doesn't really know what's going on so uh she turned uh around became angry because she had a mystical well people are assuming at this point it's a mystical collar that was on her neck and that was missing so she freaked out for a while and then um said something about <laughs> the last thing she screamed about was that they had killed the cheer, she was holding the, the cheerleaders responsible for killing Mr. Pumpernickel, and she was very, very angry. And I think that's where we left things. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's about right. Uh, so my character is at her house. As uh, is, is yes, she back, at her uh, house, or is she in the back of the car? Just uh, she, you guys were. Uh, you're back at your house. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to not make this scene extremely long for the fact that, <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel bad that you are now out of play, kind of at the moment. Yeah, no. No worries, I'll, I'll get it you is in a very, moment. It is a very full van. <laughs> so. yeah. I'm going to mute myself then. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be listening. Okay. So, let's see. First of all, uh, before we get really into that, let's go over experience gain. Did everybody <laughs> write down their failures? Uh, or do I need to tell them what their numbers were? I think you already told me mine. Yeah, I told you yours was four, I think, in chat. Oh, I told everybody, but... Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, so... You know, he told me that mine were two, and that makes sense because I have seven right now. Okay. And then Viola was three, but that doesn't matter. And then um, we'll go down the list. Oh, wait, actually, yep. I'm going to let you know. Uh, so I, I got rid of that one magical assistance because I, again, I had misunderstood what that was about. Okay. That's why I was trying to tell you that I had taken, taken something. But so basically, right now, I have 13 XP. Okay. So I gave that one back. Well, you're about to get the uh, the three or more questions, probably. Did you learn something new mm -hmm. and important? Yes. Did you save someone from the incarnations of evil? Yeah, you got a car full of people. Uh, yeah. Did we learn something? And even the person who was evil. <laughs> did we learn something new about important about magical heroes? Yes, and the villains. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> did we learn something important about the source of a hero's powers? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that one too. Uh, I'll just give everybody two, so you get an additional two to whatever you had. Right All right, and I swear after we're done the car stuff, we will have time to spend things if you haven't already. Well, that doesn't include me because I wasn't quite for the full session, correct? Uh, you um. I was there for like an hour. Technically, or you were. I mean, your, she your was character here, was there. She doesn't get the she doesn't get the failure points. It's basically the penalty is she's not getting the failure points. Yeah. So, you no, know, so... you just get just take two. That's easy. Roger, Roger. It's not that it's not that big a deal. No. All right. So that's fine. All right. Now to begin with the chaos. He killed. They, sorry. She killed him. They're all guilty. It's like, and the, of course, Samantha's like, no, no, she's lying. Don't worry about it. She's crazy. Look at her. She's crazy. Like, just in there, like, all the jelly chillers are nodding. Yup. She's, she's just out of her mind. Don't worry. You know, don't worry about it. Uh, so you now have a, a argument erupting in your car, and she's basically screaming, and Samantha's denying, and uh, yeah, good old times. Uh, uh, anybody else want to go? Or you want me to jump in on this? Feel <laughs> uh, uh, free. We, we're not really, we're not really concerned about who, who did what to, to whose dog at this point. I mean. Well, I am. It was if we, if we, what, if we, if we, if we can look into that, and we can, and, and you can give us evidence that proves that they've done something awful, uh, then sure. But 
the problem is is uh, these three uh, cheerleaders were kidnapped. Uh, and do you know who kidnapped them, Linda? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So we have we have uh, you know a case of two wrongs don't make a right, right? So we're gonna end this now. We're not gonna have any more bullshit. Uh, you're gonna leave them alone, and they're gonna leave you alone. Or else, all of this is going to get put out in uh, in the new newspaper. You just uh, just give me my collar back, and it can all be resolved. It's see, it's very simple. <laughs> sure, I, I don't. Sure, I don't know. I don't know about this. There, there's no. There's there's no correct resolution. The only only foreseeable future that I see for for Linda is death. <laughs> she just She's gotta die. Dying. I think I know you, Eddie. Uh, Eddie would speak up at this point. Like, ah, uh, what? Excuse. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what do we, are we judge jury and executioner now is that what's going on here uh, no no uh dean he's the guy who stole um, my scarf that's it. not that's not happening dean you're not murdering <laughs> anybody first he steals my Your scarf, scarf and he tries to murder ugly. me <laughs> i should have left it on the um, ground i should have trampled it it's like um look 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 at this point uh, nothing can be proven. I mean, if if the three of you want to go to the authorities and talk about being pulled through through portals uh, into a in you know you know into a far off place, that's fine, right? And I kind of like look in the rearview mirror as I'm driving at the <laughs> at the the three cheerleaders. They're like, like does anybody want to? Does, I don't know if does I anyone wanna... does yeah. anybody want to be part of that crazy? investigation uh because please leave us all out of that um but this point a bunch of bad stuff has happened everybody's coming back uh you know alive and for the most part uh, uh not terribly injured can we just move on from this please okay that seems you, like it makes are, sense to are me. you attempting hey. are you attempting a move because it sounds like you're attempting a move to me but that's that's me oh. um uh, I, I mean, I'd like everybody else to get get a chance to like chime no, in. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe not so much Dean with the murder talk, but um, you know maybe more sensible things. And then I could at least he, have like he, a Dean, Dean kind of or... shifts gears. Dean shifts gears. <laughs> hey hey Derek hey Derek, you know, I've got I've got to say you're a pretty good driver. Did you take driving lessons? <laughs> I've driven a car or two. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, well. Well, I mean, it, it shows you, you you haven't you haven't crashed it. So to, to um, be nice fair, job. to be fair, it I, is, I drive the speed limit for a reason, and there's not a lot of cars. Like it's it's a factory outside of town. It's probably I'm, not the heaviest traffic. Like, I'm driving like dead on the speed limit, so no one's gonna bother us. But seriously, she needs to die. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm not gonna get any assistance from you. Uh, anybody. Uh, hey, you you're guys you are monsters. Famous, Count on maybe, me. Maybe you want to try to talk some sense into the four of them to get them to understand <laughs> that this needs to be over. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it possible that she, that she's just a victim of of circumstance? Uh, um, who the? That's the question. Linda. Uh, Linda, do you think she's a victim of circumstance? Uh, no. If how do I explain it? She's definitely, uh, she def she something definitely happened between the two of them that caused that incident. You can kind of get the grasp from their arguments that it was she, Linda is not Linda didn't get the dog killed like she didn't they didn't set it up in that way, but it the setup happened because there was already a feud between them. So L Linda's dog died. Yes, uh, Mr. Okay. Pumpernickel. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, that, that all okay, kind of. So, yeah. Okay, here. Let's, let's, she used to a walk bit like of, every day on a routine schedule, and we had it in our notebooks. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little right. bit of like a, a little but bit of an aside, a little bit of an aside. Yes. So we had found we had found the dead the the dog bones in, um, in Samantha's in Samantha's uh, locker, 
if I'm not mistaken. What? You were in my locker? No, I'm saying this as an aside. I'm not oh, saying oh, this okay. out in, in, the, in the car. I'm saying this too <laughs> okay. out of character. Gotcha. He had found dog bones in, in her locker. Yes. Right? I did write that down, all, yeah. And we all know that. Um, we know that her dog, you know, she loved her dog. Her dog had gone missing. Um, there's been a lot of weirdness going on. Yeah, hey, you know what? They murdered a dog. That's terrible. Uh, you know, you do something different. You don't kidnap people. You don't murder somebody for that either, Dean. I don't know where that's coming from, but whatever. Maybe you're just playing bad cop um, or <laughs> twisted cop. I don't know. I'm I'm uh, just trying to make but, sense of all of this and how we can all move forward. It, yes, and, and, and the idea you all and, move and forward leaving, or everyone and, except Linda. <laughs> and you're not leaving any any options off the table as you know, murder is part of that. That's fine. We can also exalt her to godhood. What somewhere in between though, right? Somewhere in between. <laughs> um yeah, so just to kind of like rem, like remind everybody of all the clues. Uh, that I, was I left that them, was something that <laughs> Yep. Uh you know you did when we we robbed most of them. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> yeah so like we know that both part ne neither party is really is really good in in a sense so like but to try to take this evidence to something you know it seems crazy um i mean yeah maybe we have a pretty pretty compelling story but we also don't want to you know talk about uh in the story finding finding bones in somebody's locked uh lock, locked locker because then we're thieves so you know just again all kind of meta but and maybe they all oh, deserve yeah. to die if they all disappear what's wrong with maybe we, maybe then maybe the story all ends. deserve to die should i should i just slam the car into a wall like what do you want me to do here <laughs> um hey, okay look, i just i just cut i just said you're, you're i complimented you driving please don't kill me so this way you get for um, complimenting him once. I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah, that we exactly. could all escape if you if you decided to drive the car off a cliff. No, I I think that we could probably uh, do that. Um, but I'd rather I'd really <laughs> rather not. Yeah, I'd rather um, not either. Hey, it's your game, guys. It's your game. <laughs> so, what I think we should probably consider. It, again, that's why I'm trying to uh, back into character. Look, I, I think that we need to, you know, come up with reasonable solutions to this this, you know, foolish problem. You know, if if the three of you and your friends decided to murder this person's dog, that's pretty messed up. You know, but something really messed up happened back to you, didn't it? So maybe you'll learn your lesson and you won't do it again. Uh. You know, and again, I'm going to throw it out to everybody else to kind of help back me up, convince them, and then we can kind of do a do it together and a convince. Did you kill? Uh, did you kill her dog? Who are you talking to, Samantha? Uh, to the, I'm going to look at the the, the cheerleaders or it's the, the cheerleader. There's three oh, cheerleaders okay. in the car, yeah, right? The, the available cheerleaders. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Okay. Let's. I'm looking at personalities here. Uh, Samantha makes a, a declarative. No, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. Let's see, what's her personality type? Because you guys haven't really met the other two. These aren't the ones you know, which is funny. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Fran Francesca says nothing and just sits and evaluates the situation. Uh, not saying that she doesn't look guilty or anything, but she doesn't say anything. Uh, let's see, going down the list to the last one. Uh, Dana, Dana, Dana Maxwell. Uh, Dana looks at Samantha as uh, to see what the best plan is. She looks like the most athletic. She is the one that was, I think, in the uh, in the gym. But yeah, she's uh, yeah okay. She was the one that was in the gym, so she's the strongest looking of the three. But she looks like she's looking at her boss to be like, "What do I say?" kind of thing. So that's the response: is quiet. What what should I do, boss? And clear denial. <laughs> Wait, she said this to who? Oh, uh, well, so you, she didn't say anything. It, how should I put this? Dana looks at Samantha in a way like, I'll do what you want me to do. Uh, and the other girl, Francesca, says nothing. She's completely stone-faced as much as possible. And Samantha's just clearly denying everything. 
Right, so it's like the, um, she's deferring to her. Got it. Well, let's All start right. with telling us what you do know. Okay, so you're asking Samantha, or who are you asking? I'm still, I'm still kind of looking at the the the, the, the three cheerleaders. Okay. Like I'm kind of scanning scanning their faces, Samantha's, and I may pause yeah. longer. Well, I was I was headed to the bathroom it, and I was but... dragged through a wall and then she she dragged me to this warehouse and I I guess had these dogs just tear at me and drag me around well, through let's, the warehouse. Let's 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 rewind before the bathroom. What do you all know about Linda? So it's funny because it, until you brought Linda in the car, they probably didn't connect that Linda was Lady Hellfire because anytime it was either the dogs or it was Lady Hellfire that they saw. So it took them a second to figure out exactly what you're asking about. <laughs> They're like, oh, right, I get it now. And they kind of connect the, the two together. Uh, I guess she had these dogs drag, drag us through the warehouse. What was your question, Eddie? What do you know about Linda? What do we know about Linda? Uh, Samantha, she wouldn't say anything nice. How do you know Linda, basically? <laughs> uh, she's uh, been hitting on my boyfriend, so I know her that way. And she's like, I am... That's, that's actually true. That, that's, I'm not going <laughs> to... She just kind of steps back a second. It's like, but like, he doesn't love you, and they keep getting into a little bit more of an argument, and they're like, shut up! <laughs> just keep going back and forth. Uh, it's, after they calm down, she says something like, uh, Linda is an odd character. She will she'll say um, she hangs out with her trendy friends, uh, and she has a crush on my boyfriend. That's what she knows. But there was a, a slight argument uh, that happened somewhere in between that. Um, what else did you want to ask her? besides that i mean she doesn't know like linda's you guys probably know more about linda than she does like she just knows her as this girl that she doesn't like <laughs> you know but because linda. because she's dating she's crush. dating she's dating the the chad that you guys met in the lunch right. room i could give you his name but he's basically the chad from the yeah lunchroom. i think i have it written down somewhere i have it um npcs uh his literal name is chad lucas Oh like, yeah, Chad his... Lucas. Mm. So yeah, she's dating Chad Lucas, who she really likes uh, because you guys know that because you saw like all the biker and strong dudes pictures in her locker, and Linda also likes him too, of course. Popular. Uh, so look, look, I think for a dickhead, yeah, Linda, <laughs> Linda, what? actual evidence do you have to to say that that they did anything to to your dog i had a collar now that's gone okay a collar is a collar but what evidence do you have that they says that they did they anything to it. your dog they took did you the see evidence. them take the, okay they, they took the evidence they took the dog's body and she just looks more like upset as she's it's like they took it and then I think they divided it amongst each other. Okay. Um that's uh that's something that we might be able to prove. And I, I look at Samantha in the in the rear view mirror. Um, she just looks more and more pale. Uh so look <sighs> I, I don't Come I don't on. really know what we just give my I don't really back. know it'll be great it doesn't worry about it so it'll still worry tell you about what, this I, point I, I I look over because Amos is sitting next to me and I go Amos you're the you're the tactician you're here I think that what we need to do is we need to drop the ringleader off and then uh then talk That's to the her. other two you mean like separate them uh-huh who dropped uh... them off at home and then we talk to the other two I'm just uh, let her go. Samantha just looks left it's sharp. Like she's going to go far. Looks right sharp and then gives them a look and then puts her head back to where it was. Mm -hmm. The other option I mean, is I... we just take them, all, take them all back to the warehouse and keep them there for the time being. 
Um, <laughs> just took it from there. Uh, again, less less harsh, a little less harsh, Dean. Bring it to where we're not going to get into any more trouble than we have to get into. Um, so uh, does that seem like it makes sense to everybody? Maybe we uh, maybe we let Samantha go home, what? and then we can then we can have a nice long conversation with the other two about the evidence that we have. And I now I'm kind of like like eyeing back and forth to the other two. To kind of get a read off of what of the way that they look. I mean, I'm not super keen on the idea of letting Samantha out of my sight, but you know, I guess she's harmless though. She doesn't uh, she doesn't have any magical powers, right? Right, Samantha, you're not not anything special other than just a a cheerleader. How dare you? She looks insulted. I can drop you off here. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's like, no, she relies on her underlings. You hear, like, a grumble in the back. <laughs> How do we know she doesn't just have a backup magical thing, thingy-majig at home? Oh, um, uh, cause that, cause that'll be fun for that. us. Yeah, no one's really asked anything about origin of anything. They just, she just wants Yeah, I was, back. I was, I was, I was actually, uh, thinking about that. That's what I was kind of so, thinking about as far as talking to them in private. That's up to you guys. Uh, so the question is, not to make this go on forever. Um, we're going Are you guys gonna drop Samantha off first and then have more conversation? You can probably pick up Claire on the way now that she's probably had time to rest, unless you want to like, also, wait till the next day. Yeah, that would actually help because then Claire can also help us uh, convince her sister to, you know, spill the beans. Well, her sister wasn't involved. Not really. She just happened to be around at the time. She's a victim of circumstance. Like, she oh, was, so wait, she was so kidnapped along with the other one. There's, there are three cheerleaders or four. There are three cheerleaders. There is okay. one, one of Claire's sister. Claire's sister only knows the cheerleaders. She just happened to be outside the weight room. It was grabbed when the other girl was grabbed. Oh, oh, okay. So she was a witness. Okay, had to be grabbed. Okay, so. So it's it's Samantha and then the and then the other cheerleader are the ones that are the problem. So again, yeah, to get her yeah. alone, to get the other cheerleader alone, then maybe she'll crack. Again, not saying this, uh, but kind of like working that out in my mind. Um, um, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So Chicken uh, again, do <laughs> again. What is what is she gonna do? I mean, maybe. Yeah. Are you are you uh, wrapped up in some of this mystical nonsense as well, Samantha? She just she will agree to. She's, there's nothing magical about me besides my stunning personality. Yeah, it's stunning. So you're not a threat, even in even in that. Good. So I think we we let her go home and think about this all night long. And wonder if her friend over here is going to crack when we explain to her what we know and the evidence that we have. It's it's funny when you when you do role play for both of them because it's like basically you're looking at a mirror. Like you have one who's like, "Oh, I'm, everything's about what I wear and who I am," and then the other one's like, "I am everything and I am great." And so it's like you have this like bad petty effect. <laughs> it's like it's like both sides mm -hmm. of the same problem <laughs> mm -hmm. in this car, and they sure. both like Chad. It's great. Oh no, I'm talking. I'm not so much talking about Linda because I'm not. Linda's already in my in my. In our, I think in our book, Linda's already screwed. <laughs> and she doesn't. She doesn't have access to her magic anymore because I have it in my pocket. Yeah, she doesn't know you have it in your pocket. She does not have that power. So. Yeah. So when she finds that out, then we can get more information out of out of her. As like a, if you want this back, this is what you're going to give us. <laughs> Um, but I'm more concerned about Eric, the, the the weak cheerleader in the car. Yes. Did you drop me off? Uh, I, I I need to get home. I'm feeling pretty tired. I think we're all pretty tired. Um. All right. Uh, we're not quite into town yet, right? No, not quite. But you're so, almost there. I'd say. Um. Do we want to have a powwow in the car in front of them, or do we want to step out of the car? And make make a decision about what we're gonna do.
You know, like, sure, you want to just stop right here? You're the one driving. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so I um, I pull over, and I um, I you know fiddle with the with the wires and make it so that you know unless you know how to hotwire a car, you're not gonna get the thing going again. And um, uh, roll the window down and turn the car off so you can't like roll it back up. And all right, let's uh, let the four of us get out and talk, and we'll let the actually, Linda, why don't you come with us? That way, you don't get yourself in any trouble. I was gonna have her choke her, but you, she looks like yeah, <laughs> crap. It's probably better for you, right? Okay. So the five of us go for you know go a few feet away from the car so we can have a, a quiet conversation. Okay. So you've taken Linda away. Yes. Okay. What What did you want to ask me? She she looks kind of dejected, but there's nothing much she could do about it. She doesn't have any magical uh, powers. I'm, again, not so much worried about Linda. Just you know, didn't want them to get into he's, a into a bloody fist fight in the car. He's more worried about what what would happen to her. I'd, yeah, I'd be, I I might try to choke her a little, bit, but I mean, you guys would probably get back in time more than likely. Yeah. Um, Shame, really. but I, I I want this really to be more between the the four of us, and she can hear because I really don't care at this point. Okay. Um, so look, you're tired. We're all tired, right? Eddie, uh, you're, and I look at Linda, you're in a lot of trouble, so you should definitely work with us and maybe we can help you. Um, Am I? What did I do? What evidence do you have? Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, so what do the rest of us want to do, except for maybe Dean, who just apparently wants to murder people and lock them up in in cells. Um, I don't uh, think that's what you should be doing as good heroes, but sure. <laughs> uh, Amos, I mean, what do you what do you think? I, I feel like I feel like yeah, we take, all I mean, we take enough. them home. Uh, it's pretty late. I don't think they're gonna mm-hmm. they're not gonna start trouble. Uh, until tomorrow morning, I would say. Uh, I think. Yeah. Um, if anything, uh, but. You know, what if what if she like calls the police or you know? Uh yeah, unfortunately we have to we'll have to deal with that. <clears throat> um you know, but we're trying to rescue these people. Um hopefully they understand that. And hopefully uh you know what is Claire's sister's name? Did we ever come come up with a name for Claire's sister? <laughs> oh yeah, Claire's sister. Uh uh hopefully Claire's Stephanie. sister Okay. I hope hopefully Stephanie is is on our side, um, and uh, you know is just helps helps us out of any issue that we might get into. But um, problem is, is a lot of this uh, is, and I look at Linda is pretty unexplainable, right? Uh, how all this stuff went down, um, and so you know we uh, we're just gonna have to play it cool. Because now we're kind of wrapped up in some nonsense. So I think we drop Samantha off. We talk to uh, the other one, see if we can get her to uh, crack under anything, drop her off, and then we can drop off uh, Stephanie and check on on Claire. And then we can. There are two cheerleaders besides the head cheerleader, just so you know. That's what that's what that's what that's what I was asking before. Okay. Yep. Um. You know, so let's just get everybody home and uh, and hopefully this can all just go away and we don't have to deal with it. Um, yeah, I, you know, I mean, maybe some somewhere in there, like I've got a, a hankering for, for food. Maybe we can go to the Arkham House of Pizza. Yeah, we can. I mean, I'm we just can walk. We could walk over to Arkham uh, once we bring my mom's car back. I was here. I thought it was just some random car that you found at the school. Yep, yep. But Linda doesn't have to know oh, that. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe we could. Maybe we should spaces. all go together. I mean, maybe at, with after, after we've all eaten a little bit, maybe we'd be more open to discussing what actually happened or why things went down the way they did. No murder. Uh, <laughs> I just shake my head again. 
Look, it's been a <laughs> long night. I just think everyone wants to get home, and and they've all been yeah. a traumatic long day. So, no, yeah, I mean, I it makes sense. I'm, I'm hoping everybody's learned their lesson. And this can all just uh, can just you know go away. I, I'm what do you sure think, they did. I'll just go away. What's that? Linda, do you yeah. think this can all just well, go away? Uh, Linda That's, goes, uh, I, I, not until they've paid for their crimes. And and how are you going to do that now? I'll figure something out. As I don't have powers anymore, but it's fine. Yeah, um, but there's a lot more of them. So, hey, you know what? If you want to try to make them pay, then you can... You can last destination okay. shit out of that. Out of out oh. of character now for a second. <laughs> out of character now for a second. Um, you can yep. attempt now. That you know enough about the situation. Uh, you could try to touch their heart and and kind of give them, like um, like a reason to like okay, you know maybe I was wrong, you know like or well, convince. Well, or that's something. what I was. So that's what I was gonna do when we get back in the car. So okay, let's, let's gotcha. do it. Let's do a touch touch their heart. Uh, Dean, why don't you play down the. The, the darker side of our options so that we can try to like get everybody unless, on the same unless page. we can intimidate their hearts or something is that <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. sorry guys. I, don't I, think I'm hungry. I think i think he wants to touch your heart with the spear i think that's yes. where he wants to go yes. with this i mostly just want to touch the heart of samantha to not go to the police with any huh. of this <laughs> this point <laughs> Let me think. If they if they want to if they want to cat fight amongst themselves, I don't care about that. I just don't. I don't think it's fair that that this one had power to you know reach through walls and drag them you know into into you know other places. That that seemed unfair to me. So if she wants to start a fight with the with the with the cheerleader squad. That's on her. Okay, so you want to? I don't know if Linda, that's going to be a touch your heart. I think it might just be a straight up convince. Oh, and I'm really, I'm really yeah. sorry about what happened to Mr. Pumpernickel, but like, there's, it's already happened, and P Mr. Pumpernickel's not coming back. I'm, I'm really sorry. But yeah, you know, when I, mean, I wear the collar, I terrible. see him. It, and 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 we and that's wonderful. That. That's and, beautiful, and, Linda. And, and unfortunately, <laughs> we believe that. Um, but look, if we can, if we can prove that they did this then we're happy to be on your side, all right? But we have to do it the right way, not, you know, the the blood-curdling way. Like, like let's Despite not do Despite what that. Dean may say. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get where Dean's coming from. But, but if we have to, we have the resources. Dean, you're not helping. <laughs> not helping, Dean. <laughs> Sorry. Really, really, Linda, we just, we just... We want you to be safe. We want them to be safe. And if they've done something erroneous, then let's then let's work together to prove that they've done something bad. The problem is, is you know that you've done something bad, and and where that comes from is a really dangerous place for all of us. So let's not go back there. Okay. So there's a weird thing here. Does. Linda realize that you guys are the same people that fought with her outside the school or not? Because that's what's I mean, hilarious. I'm, I'm trying to like drop the subtle hints that like like yes, we believe that that Mr. That, that you see Mr. Pumpernickel. Like you know, I'm kind of like trying to put that thought in her mind that you know we we're the ones who were responsible for kicking your ass. Okay, and I wasn't you know, sure if a, you guys were being in, subtle in, about I it. I think that's not. the intimidation factor that Dean is trying to pull here. Okay. Uh, Derek, but, oh 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 dean yeah dean yeah no i get that too um but again i want to but i'm also trying to like get her to realize and maybe maybe she's just straight up crazy and completely sold into the into the evil i don't know that part um i don't know if there's a way to roll for that but um i think that we need you know I, i'm trying to pull her away from that and say look i'm i'm willing to work with you and help you prove that okay. they've done something bad because also if they're involved in some you know witchcraft or whatever it might be then you know we need to get to the bottom of that as well um but right. that's again that's that's unspoken she she seems to understand as you talk to her about her options and these things she starts to get keenly aware that there's something of a connection between you and the people that she fought with so she starts to clam up a little bit more <laughs> you're mm -hmm. like okay, okay. so mm -hmm. uh you guys don't happen to know the people that that's that may have stabbed me a few times, right? Looks around. 
Look, I'm I'm oh, new sorry. new to the school, so I you know I think I've seen them in gym. I I I might be able to pick them out in a lineup. And they're badasses, so I mean. I, right. think, I think a couple of them are on the Okay, football. the situation's a little, bit, big guys. <laughs> a little bit more different <laughs> than she thought. Uh, all right. So you just want to make it so that I don't Look, mess with they, them and they don't mess with me? <laughs> Is that it? We, That's we'd kind of all that. we're asking, huh? Yeah, if, just want a if truce. We, yeah, let's you know, have a truce. I just, um, and then, uh, and then I work, think... with us, work with us to prove that they did something bad. Okay. At that point, if you want to make a roll or something, you can. Yes, She's... I would like a roll. Okay. Uh, uh, how do we do this? So we want to do a we want to do this together. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, you could do that too if you want, because it's technically a roll. So you can have someone do. We could do this together, and then someone can do touch their heart and get the bonus. It is possible to do that. Mm -hmm. right, let's do it. Um, yeah. Okay. First off, who has the best? Um, touch their heart. Uh, uh, would be see. emotional. Probably not me. Emotional, you said? Yeah, emotional. No. Uh, zero, so no modifier. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure I have a zero negative. also. Uh, emotional. Yeah, I'm I'm zero <laughs> also. Dean, I think uh, I'm I'm bringing up my sheet right now. Yeah, I so think good. I think I uh oh I have I have a two two emo emotional. Wonderful. Deeds, you're a negotiator. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you played that. You played that exactly the way you should have. That was perfect. So <laughs> straight up intimidation. Then I'm just picturing he's going to touch your heart as we could all be friends, or I will find you. <laughs> um, if you mess up, we will kick your ass. But otherwise, we're good. We're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll bring your dog back and make it kick your ass. Um, you probably could. Uh, you have okay, raised so, dead. Uh, yep, and I also have its collar in my pocket. <laughs> that was that was the last that was the last card I was going to pull out if I had to. Oh Got this back. <laughs> Want it shoved down your throat? Um, so what do, so what do we have to do? We have to um, so we're rolling. One of us is going to roll the. Uh, we can do this together. One person can do that, right? Yeah, one person can give you a bonus. Okay, and you, and you use your best you use your best stat. So whoever wants to do that. Um, I think it changes depending on what. Oh, yeah. See, here's the thing. Um, you have to have another person with emotional to get it. The bonus is based on what they're using. So, whoever mm -hmm. gives him the bonus to that roll is gonna have to spend basically emotional, like roll and emotional. So, like for example, if most of you guys have a zero bonus, so it's like you would need a success from is basically a zero well, bonus. It looks no. It looks like as I'm looking at this, roll one of the following stats depending on what how you're... you are aiding oh. and uh, aiding and the uh, aided character gains one uh, power power point. Uh, so you can do physical, emotional, mental, or or mystical. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. Do and it, so depending do it on how way. on how well they do, uh, Dean would then get the power point. So he would have basically. A a three uh, All right. to his uh, convince. Then his, just tell me what know, kind of move you're doing to get that get that bonus. Um, I mean, again, it can be Amos can do it and and roll his mental, or I can do it and use my mystical. I don't. I apologize. I don't know what Eddie's um, plus two would be. That doesn't really make sense to me, though. It's a weird. Right. It's a weird um, mechanic, but yeah. All right. I mean, basically, I basically because. Because you're intelligent, you are you are you know you're giving her logic. You're giving you're taking those logical reasons and kind of like you know reworking them and being like here these these are the reasons why you should do this. And then Dean is going to take that and hopefully kindly work that into a touch of heart and try to get her to 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 relax and even maybe be on our side trying to 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 um, pin. The dog's murder on them. All right. So what am I rolling? Two d six. Yes. Two d six and two d six plus your mental. Yeah. I got a twelve. Wow. Nice. 
Uh, you, wow. and, you and your target gain plus one on your next roll. Add one power point to your pool. Nice. Cool. And then now, now Dean is going to roll his emotional plus the power point. I assume he wants to spend it uh, to convince her to, to chill out so that we can do some investigation. And if she wants to help us, then hooray. If not, then maybe we won't be able to 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 prove that they've done something terrible. Okay. So then for Dean, it's going to be, uh, yeah, the 2d6 roll, his emotional, and the plus one if he's using the PowerPoint. Yeah, I would, I would use that PowerPoint. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, ha- it happens. It happens to all of us. You're getting all uh, tinny. Just right? That. That, that, that's why I think that's why. <laughs> You're right. I'm I'm okay. Yeah, cool. All right, there we go. Do you, do you hear me? Okay. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah, yeah. All, all right. I Proceed. just I uh, just connected to the Wi-Fi, so I hope that helps. Yeah, I want to use that PowerPoint. I have a PowerPoint cool. from our first session, but I'm gonna save that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't want you to use them all. Man. If, if if you if you roll okay, I think, then that's, I think after this we'll do the drop off at people's houses and that stuff. So that'd be good more yeah. game plan. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Um, if you wanna if you wanna touch their heart and try to convince them, that is uh, the role that you will need to make. Oh God, he froze. Hello. Hey, yes. roll. You can make you can make a roll. Uh, it, it, it froze on froze on me for a second. I, so I just want to make sure I was speaking to Linda, right? Yes, you were speaking, yeah, to, Linda. speaking to Linda. Yeah, she's speaking to Linda. You, your your psycholo- your so analyst had... has given you a bonus. You are ready to go. Yeah. So I I lean I lean towards her and I'm like, you know, it's been, it's been a really long day and I think we got off on the wrong foot. I didn't put my best foot my best foot forward and you know I, I think that we really should try our best to resolve this situation and I would really appreciate if you would relax a little bit and uh, you know just be- before things get crazy just kind of just kind of play play along with us um, I, I rolled a 12 <laughs> did you okay yeah, can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't see it, but I, I assume that that's fine. Uh, let's see. See the error of their ways. They see the error of their ways. You know, you're right. She, she looks at you and goes, "I have been a terrible person." Um, but they were really terrible, and I just, I just, it just didn't seem a way with all the all the power that your family wields and her friends that I could, I could get back at her. You know what I mean? For what she had done. I, I, I hear that. You know, listen, listen. She actually looks at it. This is the part that might creep Dean out a bit. You got a really high roll. She, she looks at you, Dean, like kind of in a nice way. <laughs> she likes aggressive, weird people. Think about it, Dean. All you were saying the whole time was killing people, kill, stab them, let's do this, let's do these very manly things. And so she looks at you. She goes, "You're right, Dean. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll behave for the most part." <laughs> she can only behave so much. What were you talking about? Go ahead. Yeah, I, you know, listen. I think <laughs> a lot of times we get kind of caught up in the moment. We make bad decisions. Totally, yeah, I've totally. Made my, I've made my fair fair share of bad decisions. I've got to live with them. If you could just, if I could just find a way to get her caught in her own crap, then then I'll I'll be okay. What do you mean? Yeah. What kind no, of def- crap? definitely, de- def- That makes a lot of sense. And look, her. let's let's work together. Let's work together. Let's let's find out exactly what they're up to, like what they're doing, and you know, let's let's let's. Figure this out together. Yeah, together. She'll nod. She seems she seems uh, pacified for the most part. 
she went from raving lunatic to kind of weirdly infatuated with Dean. So I guess you know you're, just... you're pretty cool. You're pretty cool, out actually. Yeah, you know, I saw someone who had really good fashion earlier. He was like, he was dressed in like pinks, and guy. nobody dresses like that. Nobody. I've never, you know, that's that's a really original. It was like he had like a French motif with a mask. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> in the middle of the world. Yeah. I mean, was it like? Was it like the yeah? It was like golden scream? bird scream? mask. It was yeah. crazy. Have you seen the movie Scream? What's up? Have you seen the movie Scream? That guy has a mask. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I actually kind of I like certain horror movies. Some of them are just you know. Anyway, all right, save it, save it for the first <laughs> date. Let's. Uh, oh, I don't. We're not dating, God. Not yet. No, ab absolutely not. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, okay, we're, let's get out of here. I, I'm, I'm... This is awkward. It's become awkward for everyone. <laughs> it just made sense in my head. I'm like, what, she, she's have kind of a clingy personality. It's like, okay, well, what's the next logical step, right? Okay. <laughs> Into the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, out of character, especially since uh, he uh, touched her heart. Yeah, he did. And he, <laughs> he, he literally touched her. He literally touched her heart. And his personality is like kind of chattish and so she's into chattish kind of personalities so into the car she goes kind of passively for for her into the vehicle see dean right, everything's coming up roses i, 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 I get the car <laughs> rolling again um and cool. oh sorry I said out of character. That was pretty cool. It just like made character. the most yeah. sense like as, as the way the resolution would go. No, no. Nothing I think that's worked. really good character development. That's awesome. And so yeah. she's... Yeah. Uh, what was it? Where, where was Deed in the car? Was Eddie in the back with her? Because yeah, she'll, yeah. she'll be like, uh, can can you guys, since we're going back in the car, can we switch? Can I, can I you know... Be you my guest. Be okay, my guess. just... Uh, that's fine. Who sits in the car? <laughs> Is, oh Deed, is Deed okay uh, with that? I'm so, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Is Deed okay with being in the back seat with Linda because she thinks she wants to swap with Eddie? You know, like, can you can you swap with Eddie? You'll definitely keep yeah, that's more pacified fine. if yeah, you're back I'll, there. Okay. Absolutely. So, uh, how long have you been? It's a little have like general conversation. I'm not gonna pat it out, but she's just kind of like will prod you for like random information. As you drive, yeah, I just, I just, I just moved to town. I don't, I don't. I mean, you're, you're one of the first people I've met. Yeah, I, you know, it was really nice. The first time we met, you actually handed me back something that I, oh, it was like destiny, right? Like you were just you, like, you, you just look really knew. good in that scarf. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I'm sorry I acted so rudely at that time. Well, that was, that was my. It's, God, it's my really, I don't know about unbearable. you, but I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, <laughs> so, you know, I, I kind of, uh, you know, I get a little crazy when I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, you know. So where do you live? Oh, uh, she'll she'll give her address that everybody already knows already because they've been like doing research on it. Oh yeah, well I you know I. Yeah. Okay. All right, Derek, drive quick. I don't know how long I can. I can handle this. <laughs> everybody's I... stomach shirts. Um, I, I'm I'm definitely reconsidering. Samantha the idea actually of... becomes more uncomfortable in a weird way because this is I'm... not right. So... Now I'm now I'm what? reconsidering driving us into a wall. Um, let's uh, <laughs> let's get you home first, Hon Linda. Honestly, a quick death might be might be. Oh uh, man, might be great. Here. You did a duet. Yeah, you resolved her issues. It just says she okay. Yep, into the car. All right. Yeah. So we get Linda home. Okay. Um and uh Linda, can I get your phone number? Oh yeah, yeah, she'll come up close. Look, get your writer phone number. And uh what is it? It'll smell vaguely of some weird perfume that you're not quite quite place. And you're like, so here you go. Thanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> uh this is resolved interestingly. She she'll go back into her house. Uh the, the cheerleader, Samantha, will look at you guys because you dropped her off for us and be like, what? No, you, she's, no. <laughs> like, 
What's wrong oh, with you? Added, added incentive for you to work with us to resolve issues. What? Don't make me flip a switch. Uh, uh, oh, boy. Uh, I'll just, look, just drop Samantha, me look, off. Just drop look, me off. Look, Samantha, this is what we what we really want from from yeah. from this whole thing is for everyone to just, you know, leave each other alone. All right. We don't we don't think that you guys deserve this. Um, and uh, and but we just but clearly something really traumatic happened to her. And, you know, and and we're hoping that she can just find her way back. All right. So, uh, so, you know, just, just, you know, call off your dogs as it were. Um, and, uh, and, you know, in the next couple of weeks, maybe we can talk and figure out a way to just resolve all this. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. She'll just, at this point, she'll just not, she's in too much shock from everything that's been going on recently. Just, okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, so she's okay with well, damn it. Okay. <laughs> what? Um I am gonna drop Samantha off next. Okay. Wait, 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 no. We dro- oh, we're not dropping off Samantha? Okay. We we just dropped off Linda. No. We just dropped, we off, dropped Linda. off Linda. And then Samantha made yeah. a little bit of a fuss because there's a weird thing between her and Dean now. You're not sure if she thinks that that like, oh, what what is it about Dean or something? But it's just a very strange moment for her, so she's trying to take it all in. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so all you right. drop Samantha off at the nicest estate in town, pretty much, because that's her family's mm-hmm. estate. And he goes, "Yeah, can you drop me off not in the front? Could you just a little bit, a little bit away from the front? That'd be great." Uh, wherever you want. This is okay. good here. Yeah, that's fine. You about two right. blocks hey, just, away. You drop her off. <laughs> you can just, see your house. Just though. look it, and I just get home safe. We hope that you're okay. Um, you know, if you need something, feel free to, to, to talk to us in private. We, you know, we don't want to spread all this information around. You know, this has been a, a bad scene and we just, we just want everybody to be cool. All right. Okay. Sorry. I have a, I have a, a co-pilot. Um, um, and I, and I, and I assume she gets out of the car and starts walking. Okay. Uh yeah, she gets out of the car and starts walking. Um, uh, all right, and then I uh, where where do the two of you live? Close by? I mean, where, where are you guys going? Are you, are you ladies going? Uh yeah, they live like the town is not that big. Uh, they live not that far yeah. away. Uh, who are you talking to? For I, I assume you're gonna try to talk to them, uh, possibly before you drop them off. So let's yes. right. say, yeah. um. So the first one you could talk to, well, you, you could choose either a Dana or Francesca. Those are the two that are in the car. Well, I mean, the, the, I, I assume that we can kind of just talk to the both of them together. Okay, that's at fine. At this point. Yeah. Um, just to kind of speed it up. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, again, now that they're not with their leader, yeah. um, psychologically, they're kind of off, they're on their own. Um, you know. All right, well, now it's a little bit more comfortable in here. It feels a little more roomy, huh? This is uh, <laughs> Definitely better. Uh, did, 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 did somebody say something about pizza? Uh, that pizza place is still open, right? Oh, you, I can always two, go for. I can, I can you, pizza. pizza. Yeah. Do you two? Are you two hungry? Are you hungry, girls? <coughs> ladies, ladies. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, we were, we were. Uh, this will be. Uh, actually, Dana doesn't say anything about it. Yeah. But uh, Valerie will be like Valerie will be. Um, sorry, not Valerie. Sorry, Francesca. Francesca. Francesca will quietly say, "Yeah, I'm hungry. I was in I was in a basement for like <laughs> like a day, like half a day. So yeah, she's hungry. Yeah, she was taken during I mean, lunch. You know. <laughs> she yeah, you know, oh, dog! Yeah. You didn't even get to finish the Fun lunch. Cool, man. That was that just... you in the basement. She was the one what? that got sucked through the wall. I remember, yeah. like at lunchtime. Um, yeah, yeah, did they, look, did they uh, <laughs> feed you guys at all down there, or what? I mean, let's, uh, let's... If they gave us, and she'll, she'll look horrified, dog kibble. They gave us fucking Aww, dog that's kibble. Kind of fun. Oh, let's go get some pizza. You guys will feel much better. 
Uh, yeah, come on, let's uh, let's go grab a pizza. Everybody has uh, a couple of bucks on them. Throw throw some cash up this way. I'll, I'll um, I think the place says a drive-through, doesn't it? Okay. Are you guys picking place up the drive-through? Are you picking up your friend Claire on the way there? Because oh yeah, yeah. Let's go grab Claire. We should definitely He's probably awake Claire by Claire now. Claire. Yeah. But yeah, you, you, you want to see Claire, right? You can't. Oh, have you, you have to turn right? into the other form for tele for the right, telepathy. Yeah. 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 Yikes. Yeah. You don't want to do that in the car, probably. Because I was gonna. I was <laughs> no, gonna say you can just you can just dial her and uh, tell her to go to the pizza place. But I could, wish I could do that right now. Yeah, that'd be great. You could use a payphone. I shouldn't have used such uh, a, a terrifying I feel like it's, form. If it's a small town, it might just be faster to uh, just knock on their just, door. Just, yeah. Just drive over there. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Let's let. You know, and I, uh, what is it, uh, Shannon? Was it Shannon, her sister's name? Uh, no, it was it wasn't Shannon. Stephanie. Damn it. Her name, it was only said once. It might have been, yeah, I think it is. Was it Shannon? Actually. I think oh, it I is, yeah. I wrote it down. Uh, uh is uh, Adrian, Claire? you there? Did you, Claire? I'm here. Yep, I'm here. What was your sister, what, what did you decide on your sister's name? Stephanie, I'm just gonna write it on uh, on on the Facebooks. No, Thank that's you. fine. Yeah. So okay, so Stephanie, yeah, would definitely want to go back to her house anyway. So to, we can yeah. check on her sister. Hey. Yeah. Why don't you? Uh, your parents are probably concerned about you. Why don't you run in and see if Claire can join us, or uh, you know, uh, you know, I'll I'll, I'll uh, roll around the back and tap on the window if I have to. Uh, uh, She'll once you go once you go in, it'll be make enough a distraction. She'll, she'll Claire smirk. Out. Claire, uh, yeah, sorry, um, Stephanie. I don't know why her name's so hard to say. Stephanie will smirk and say, "Nope, I know just the thing. You want me to get my sister out of the house and with you guys, right?" Yeah, if you want to come with us, you're more than welcome to. But if you if you want to stay home, you no, know, no, I don't no, 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 no. This is make a does, decision for you. you. You get this look from Stephanie since I'm gonna write the personality on the fly. Uh, she is a definitely like a trickstery kind of weird. Like she's popular, but she's got a weird thing going. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. What kind of? We'll what find out. Weird she thing? she smirks and she goes back to the house. Don't worry, I'll go get her. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you, this. Uh, uh, Claire. Do you and Stephanie get along pretty well, or is it like? Not... I mean, that was a sister that she was willing to like, hurt somebody over. So. Yeah. Well, so I mean, so. So Claire and I are like best friends. So I assume yes. that Stephanie and I are, are at least, you know, friendly to some degree or another. You would know um, her. She does yeah. the right thing, but possibly whatever way is the funniest. So Sure. But I mean we also, you know, her her life did just get saved and she's um gotten a ride home these, fifty miles. The, so these bitches be ungrateful, by the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh man. Wow, can we uh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start that, man. You guys did that. I, um, I, I'm not throwing my head on that ring. Uh, um, I'm just saying we saved okay, so all I, these people, and they're just like, uh, mm -hmm. fuck you. No, no, I, I agree with that part of it, but it's just a, you know. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna uh, park where I would like normally, um, kind of have that, like, have like that pre-assigned, yeah, position, <clears throat> um, okay. for for picking up my homie. Yeah, uh, um, she and, uh, wasn't with that group very long, so she's still pretty well off. So she'll she'll wander up to the house, and uh, she'll knock a few times at the door. Her parents will be like, "Oh, where were you?" And then, uh, who's got really good hearing? Like, does anyone have like high physical or something? Like, or are they gonna follow her? Uh, I think Eddie would have if Eddie was still in the car. Yeah. Um, anyone want to check on Claire actually? Okay, so Eddie from behind, she said, "Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I was uh, hanging out with some of the, uh, the the power popular kids in school, and we got carried away, and it took took a while. Um, they said that uh, they actually want to hang out with Claire. Can you, you know, and then the parents are like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, she's getting friends, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I gotta go get Claire. I, she got really tired out, a lot of physical activity, actually." Um, <laughs> they're like oh no she's the crafty type of person oh no <laughs> so they're doing this thing where it's like oh yeah yeah they you know they they, they took us out she got really tired and uh but I'm, I'm here to pick her back up we're gonna go out for pizza so you don't need to make dinner we're gonna they're actually taking us out for pizza that's that's good and the parents are like mm-hmm mm -hmm, yeah and then she walks in 
Uh, she'll walk up to your room. You'll hear a dainty knock at your door. I'm like, I you hear it on the other side of the door, groggily. But I'm like, wait. Walk over. Door opens. Hair's a little mess. I'm like, hey. <sighs> I give her, I, she, she runs and gives her a hug. Are you oh. okay? Oh, I'm fine. I mean, besides, she didn't hurt you, did you? No, no. The dog thing sure? dragged me, but I mean, I, I'm okay. I look her up and Some, down. Somebody came in and rescued us like shortly after. Um, so, uh, your friends are outside and they want to take us out for pizza. And uh, I gave our parents the excuse that uh, you were getting to be good friends with the cheerleaders and you were trying to be very popular and they they totally bought it so we can just we could just go we should probably leave <laughs> she, that's for a she's she's the way she, i just picture this is now the way she acts so oh. yeah no, no no she she claire chuckles a little bit and like, God. we're good friends i can't believe good friends. yeah of, of course yeah see? absolutely after waking up so late this morning i was oh, turning my you? life around like i stopped hey i i i, I left my room i did physical act i, I you would just yeah they love it don't worry yeah, I, yeah, I got yeah. this. Mom, mom, great. definitely mom really understands who i am as a person yep yep i'll well, go then. In, that, <laughs> in that case claire goes and grabs uh a jacket that she would never wear but she's trying to put on any perfect good good right that's now. important it's all the way in the back of her closet. You you notice in that. a box saying "Do not open." She opens the one pink thing she owns that her grandma gave See, her. Stephanie smirk it smaller, like it's like a little bit wider. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. She dusts it off. It's like has like like it's it's exactly what you think a popular girl thing would wear. I had to click it in a really hey, disgusting. You should, you should probably remove that price tag that's on the back. It's, oh, okay. it's still there, you know. <laughs> that's it all. Yep. Right. And so she still wears the rest of her black stuff underneath. It just, you know, mom needs to, you know, reassurance. Maybe she'll actually let me let me out now. Oh, and I'm sure we're gonna have a great discussion about all of this, and it'll be very entertaining. Well, off we go. All right. Thank stuff up. Uh, Thank you. Oh no, it's no thank you. It's just, you're gonna become her oh, source of entertainment for the evening. Um, Come gosh, off we the, go. I'm never gonna live this down, am I? Do, 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 do. I walk down. I'm like, she tries to walk daintily. It isn't working. Oh, she uh, unfortunately Stephanie is actually good at it. And comes downstairs and goes, "Well, we'll be back. Don't worry, we'll be back before late." Uh, mom, okay. I, mom, dad, I going to go meet up with my new friends. Uh, I'll be back later. Have fun, and they'll yeah, do yeah. like a thumbs up, uncoolly. Uh, yep. I give a yeah, cool, mom and dad. Bye. Slam. No, no, don't slam the door. Just stops yourself from slamming. Our uh, little daughter has grown up so much. I know, right? <laughs> 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 Okay, off you go. You oh. guys see her wearing a bright Claire. <laughs> nice, nice outfit. Claire oh, gives... wearing Claire. She goes into the car. Drive. Just drive. Drive slow. Drive yep, slow. I, uh, Not dangerous I, at all. I start driving, but I, I'm like, right. I'm looking at you. As soon as dead, I take... Looking at you like... You know this jacket. You know exactly where this. You, you've been in my room. You you know what this jacket. You never looked so pretty. <laughs> you think I look pretty? Oh, uh, I mean, you always look great. great. You always look this pretty. Get even more awkward always... in the car. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm like, dude. You I'm like, dude. Know, you always look you... gorgeous. Today you look pretty. Oh. <laughs> like, and, and Claire, are you already? Oh well, if and... you, you like my normal clothes. I... It was like it's it, it's <clears throat> to make my mom and dad uh happy. <laughs> but the two of them look, at off. look at each other and like, um, what the hell are these people? What is going? And she she takes her jacket I'm, I'm, off. I'm all for the show. <laughs> yeah, like, well, just know um bye bye guys. guys. Is that was are... that what's going on here? Are you guys? Well, I, uh, I, no, I'm okay. just more I... more importantly, how are you feeling? Is that... Is that... Uh, <laughs> 
I feel uh, like a truck hit me. Yes. Uh, I, I assume every we can um some all about the other things that happened earlier. We can talk about that later. But uh, I f do feel a lot better. But I am happy that everyone is safe. She takes yeah. off her jacket as soon as they are like at least ten blocks away from her house. Oh God, Stephanie is like the hidden demon. And that's going to be great. And I'm going to put that in my notes. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Oh, awesome. no. She's going to randomly uh, show up at the most inopportune times out of a character. Yeah, shit. And she's yeah. going to... She's awesome. She's... For it. Did she, did I, I'm come... loving this. Did she... I didn't... Oh, of course she came with you guys. Why yeah, yeah, she, she came with, with us, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. of course. Eric, uh, can you drop me off? <laughs> I'm yes. going to get out. <laughs> yes, absolutely, Eddie. I think, so, uh, aren't you coming with us here, pizza? I'm just I really tired. I ran. I'm no. really tired. <laughs> well, how about this? Yeah. She takes off her pink jacket. You see her normal black clothes underneath. Uh, well, how about this? We go eat some food. Food gives energy. And we go mm -hmm. hang out like friends. I mean, yeah, I won't turn you down. I'd, I'd love that. I'm just, you don't mind that I'm. If I can just I, lay my head, because I I'm... don't, yeah, I don't care. You can never makes it happy. All right, and he's just gonna be like, <laughs> she puts, she drapes the pink uh jacket over him like a blanket. Eddie, uh, you might have class tomorrow. Where's your backpack? Uh, well, no, we have that, it. Yeah, that's we grabbed Eddie's. We grabbed Eddie's. We grabbed that Eddie's that backpack. backpack is between the smoothie place and the school somewhere. No, I think we grabbed the backpack. Because you took off in front wait, of us. Wait, hold on. There has to be a continuity thing. So he had the, the top of the backpack. No, it, yes, both things are true. You had the back, you put the backpack on, and because you're instantaneously fast, what they did was they're like, wait, we'll grab it for you. I, I'm now, now, I now know how the chain of events occurred. Okay. Uh, they have your backpack, but it is missing the straps. Because what had happened mm -hmm. was they were like, I'll hand oh. you your backpack, and you grabbed your backpack and tore and the I just went... <laughs> <laughs> tore the arms off. <laughs> so that's why you know, that's why that's the handle on top. That's why, it's, yeah, exactly, because you they tore off. Don't tore mind the off. holes in the sides; it's fine. It's fine. It's great. Hey, uh, don't worry, Eddie. If you need, I I have I have an extra backpack. Uh, I could uh, I could totally give you. It, it's cool. Thanks, um, thanks Derek. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, uh, pizza. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, I'll park here. Like I, I park like okay. away from everything in a shadow. The so pizza the place is across is is right less. here at the smoothie shop where you were earlier. That just makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so so we're so but we're like we're someplace like where the car is inconspicuous because sure. the not that anyone else has to know this, but we all know it's stolen. Um, <laughs> Uh yeah, well, let's uh, let's roll over here and grab some pizza, and then we'll um talk and and we'll get everybody home after that. That's uh that's what I think we need to do now, right? Everybody's cool. Um, I think that's a good plan. You know, uh, cool. Yeah, so um, good plan. Okay, you all park the vehicle a few streets away from the pizza place. You walk up. Uh, it was late all kind of already, so it was like 5, 6 o'clock, so it's about 8 o'clock. You guys wander up to the pizza place. Um, luckily, it's late enough that a lot of the students that you might have met, because it's the local place, aren't actually around. So you guys can take a seat outside or inside, doesn't matter, and have your conversation. Which is the one, where, which area is the place where it's away from the most people uh, in the out, back? Outside, it's October. No one, right. no one really wants to be outside right now. I do. October's the best month. I, I do too, but <laughs> it's generally it's, it's easier outside now. Yes. Um, I'm going to go up and order food. Um, and there, as you I'm know, walking, it's the usual. As I'm walking up to the... Uh, I'm just going to get um, you know, what I think. Like, I take like a quick order from everybody. I don't want to go through all that. Uh, and I'm going to yeah, walk up and as I'm walking... Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna. As I'm walking up, I am going to. Um, uh, if this is okay, I'm gonna summon a small common item, and that small common item is just gonna be money. That's oh. fucked up. 
<laughs> Can you actually do that? Is this? Yeah, it's legal. That's, technically. that's literally the way it oh. uh, You summon a small Wait, common item. A I, $20 I thought... bill is a pretty common item. So the other thing I was thinking is, <laughs> technically, I didn't want to bring it up, but he could summon a set of keys. Just saying. Think about that on your own problem. Okay. A set yeah, of keys then is you a don't need the hotwire. Oh. Don't need the hotwire. You could have literally just been like, I I'm need gonna... a car keys for a Corolla. I have something. a question about that ability, though. Yeah. Does it stand up to scrutiny? Like, if you, like, really looked closely at it? That is a good question. Is it, uh, or do you just, would the summon mean to... that you take it from somewhere else? Is somebody now just missing $40? It's a wish. So it, It's a wish. It so is literally it a wish. It comes into existence. Ah, uh, okay. But you still have to do a magic roll to do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so if you I fail, it's going to look terrible. Now. It's going to be like a 20 uh, with, so like, fucked up numbers. It's, it's an it's an eight plus two, right. so I rolled. The president a 10. is that. <laughs> so a ten is is the best that I need. Okay. To, to you have get, made and actually I, if I it's get, a wish. So, you made a counterfeit twenty, but it looks real good, basically. <laughs> well, no, well, so it's a so I get I get two, so I can actually make it make it a real twenty. <laughs> okay. I I think I can use both to make it real. So, so far you've used your powers to break into lockers, hotwire a car, and make a fake 20. Good super and steal scene. money out of, out, of, out of someone across the country. Yep. Uh, and I'm um, going to just go up and, and order... Well, quick order, question. Uh, Who's the typical teenager? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, someone lost a 20. So is this like a power <laughs> out? Like, I know that you have to transform for certain powers. Oh, Which right. powers do you not, not to use? Is what powers do you use? Nope, no, like, nope. Gift, it, it, the, the gift is my personal, is not my your personal, personal ability. Thing. The personal, personal ability you do not. <clears throat> so what is it? No. So I know there's a mystical connection, magical archetype, and everyday identity. I imagine the everyday identity is the one you can just do whenever. Yes. But yep. what about That's the mystical gift. connection? Um, you have, it, to, you be, have, to, transform you have to transform for that. Yeah. Stay with the magical. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's just using a, a weird power that uh, it's in his everyday identity, which is strange. But, that's, okay. kind of, that's kind of OP. <laughs> it is kind of OP. Right? But the thing is, he could fuck it up and he could make like a 20 that's counterfeit but not know it and just hand it to the guy, which would be really funny. So he's just getting <laughs> look. He just has a really high roll at succeeding. Like he could he could really mess things up. Also, well, so, so if I roll if I roll a six or less, uh, reality refuses to budge and you take two harm. Yeah, see, like that. Yeah, so like, reality like I'm rebounds. trying to do it. I'm trying to do it, and it's just like, dangerous. like I, I like I'm like trying to reach through reality, and it just like punches me back, and like and like it, it hurts my arm, and I'm like, ow, oh, shit. For example, <laughs> kind of if thing. he had if he had failed, he could have had something like a waiter comes by and like trips and like drops their drinks all over him, and like something dramatic, you know. But he didn't, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. He's he's got a great power, but it's also a walking plot device if he uses it wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the hell out of it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep spinning that that barrel and playing Russian roulette. Yeah, Mage, Mage the Awakening. Um, yeah, very much like that. Where yeah. it's reality rebound. <clears throat> yep. There's a lot of messages in the in the chat here. I gotta. I, gotta I, I had a lot button. to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I order food. Uh, bring it back to the table. You know, they're productive. Day probably gotta bring it over the table date now. to us. Um, <laughs> and. Um, uh, I mean, I don't want to dig into these two girls, but they're obviously the weaker, you know, of the, th you know, with Samantha not there, they're obviously weaker. So I'm hoping that we can get them to understand, you know, to believe that we have information that would, that would make, make their lives, you know, uncomfortable. So yeah. that's kind of the way I want to go with this. If you guys don't mind handling it, I, I will jump in if you need me to, but I'm going to try to get the little guy to go to sleep. Okay. So. Oh, what? I'm gonna be on mute. I'm gonna oh, get my. His, I'm gonna try to get my son. His son. I'm gonna try to get my son to go to sleep now. So I'm gonna be on mute. Uh, yeah. I'm... <clears throat> hey, still listening. Clear. You're the I'm still the... listening. But uh, yep. yeah, if you guys can handle it, thank you. Yeah, we got this. Good luck. Easily. <laughs> Claire, so you're your new your new friends, huh? Yep, you guys are my new popular friends. If my mom and dad asks, all right. So uh. That was Stephanie's. I mean, idea. that's cool. That's um. Jesus works. I mean, it's a good idea. Pizza. Am I gonna have to wear paint to school now? 
I don't, I don't think so. I don't think they watch you that much. I just, okay. it was just funny. That's all. She just starts doing oh, no, her it was, it was, <laughs> I was, I, I, I sent my soda a little harder. Oh, no. She's not actually evil. Impish. Oh, no, 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 Impish no. is the best way to put it. Oh, no, no. The, the out of character, like, um, what is it? Claire knows that. She's, um, she's getting, uh, sibling, um, uh, Sibling poking fun. Yeah, she, she, which is and that's just girl's reaction. She she knows she's kidding. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, she just looks at Derek. I didn't know you. I, I thought you were from like an orphanage or something. Like, where did you get the money from? Um, I think he. Yeah, I think he's been saving it. Oh, okay. He's was, like pretty good. That's really nice for him to buy us all pizza. You know, he's not like the well, most well off. Um, no, that was really cool. Well, must have been thank saving you, the whole for that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Good to see you fooding. I'm just like, oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. but, he's, a, he's a kind person. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't think that fits his, his character at all. I mean, I, I'm I just kidding. I, I mean, that was, that, was, uh, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty nice of him, actually. I'm joking. Kidding. Okay. So, uh, you do have the, the quiet one. Basically, the two cheerleaders are the quiet, reserved one and the more rash, burlier one, basically. So, are you two okay? I look up. Are you two okay? Uh, the, the more quiet one goes, I, I'm good. This is this is better than the, the dog food, so I'm going to... Dog? Oh, yeah. Plus. Um, you, <laughs> you guys hurt. Oh, uh, the brash one's like, no, I'm fine. I, I could have took him. I just yeah, they just got to jump on me. That's uh, of course, yep. Hey, it's, all, it's all right. Listen, I mean, you you, you don't. Hello. Hello? I, don't think, I don't think I don't think anybody in that in that in that situation would have fared fared much better than you. What happened to Linda, you guys? Uh, Claire has no idea what's going on. Uh, uh, Linda. Uh, she was uh, dropped off. Um, she's she's at home. The quiet. One. Yep. Aww. Yeah. There was she, a thing she... between Linda and Dean. A thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Dean kind of smirks. Yeah. She. Oh, she she's that, all right. Yeah. She's, uh, she, she's at. Uh, she's at home. I got her phone number, by the way. If you uh, if we if we have to call her, you know. Yeah. That makes yeah, sense. We were all there. Uh, Claire's imagining <laughs> that you threatened her, and it's like, oh, you intimidate her. Okay, yeah, I understand now. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally scared her. Yep. It's awesome. Right out of her pants. He scared her right out of her pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, but, well, anyway, but, but reg regardless, we're, we're not here. We're, not, we're, we're here to, about, about Linda, but not about Linda. So Listen, why did she, um, do you know why she took you guys? That's she, but uh, what is it? Whatever those dogs or whatever. Who are you interrogating first? You just in general saying that? Do you know why she took? I'm you? saying it to those two. Max okay. and the quiet one first. Uh, and you'll look at the strong one. Uh, I'm... I asked the strong one first. Okay. No, uh, that she's a foe. Yeah. Anyways, I need to break the strong one. Okay, so you, you quiet one. She's go starts going. Uh, looks at the strong one. Uh, do I? Know? Yeah. You ask her. Do you know why she took you? Um, there is a personal disagreement between our friend and her. All right. Um, so are you just guys collateral or just, uh, or did you guys actually do something? Uh, she'll take another piece of pizza and she'll think about it like. Um... I'll wait. I'm patient. Okay. So. I agree with with Samantha about certain things, and Linda did, and not that are not great. And she'll she'll she, she takes, she's one of these people that ponders while she eats. Um, but they've both been acting really off the rails, uh, for sure, uh, in this situation. Do uh, you want to know the whole thing that happened? She'll look at you guys. Yeah, Is I it know. really the kind of conversation for dinner? Do you sure you want Stephanie to hear this? Because it's not 
not good. Stephanie, do you mind? It doesn't look like it's going to be a pretty picture, but I kind of want to not find out. Okay. Uh, Stephanie will go, I mean, how, how bad could it be? And she goes, well, it's not, no person died. Uh, yeah, Stephanie will get up to <clears> the table and be like, uh, I think, I think I'm going to go and go to the smoothie shop. Uh, oh, do you mind I'll picking be, up my fave? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. She just kind of twatters off. Uh, okay. All right. So, I'll cut. Let's get to it. Honestly, it was a problem on everybody's side. Um, we were walking. Well, let me let me take it back. Samantha has a, a running path, goes past the front of the school in front of Linda's house. And every day, Linda's dog, Mr. Pumpernickel, runs up to the fence, barks his head off every time he sees her. Every time. And because they don't, you know, she doesn't like him he doesn't like the do she doesn't like the dog linda doesn't like samantha so the dog knows makes lots of noise every time she goes by every single time then there's a second problem which is uh samantha and linda like the same person i have been talking to the people in our group and we don't think he's a great person to be around but that's not our call people can like who they like Okay. Mm -hmm. She she is burly, but on top of that, she kind of has a very like masculine like anyway. Um so like she she's <clears throat> like takes her time, talks in a very calculated way. Um so they had a, that are that problem already. Then they started finding ways to pick and bully each other over the school year. Back and forth, back and forth. And then finally, she decided to come on to Linda's property and start a physical fight with her. Well, Mr. Pumpernickel objected. And he lunged at her oh, in no. self-defense. So Samantha, being already in a bad mood and armed, uh, beat the dog to death in front of her. I dropped my pizza. Now, we ah. were happening to walk with her, and as the conflict occurred, uh, we decided that our friend should not be mauled by a dog to, you know, so we helped a bit. Uh, do you really want you guys me to go killed... into... So you guys are telling me that you guys, okay, let me get this straight. So all of you guys, she has her problems with, um, out of character, what's your name? Alinda. No, the other, the other girl. Samantha. So, so Linda and Samantha, they have their problems. They go back and forth. And Samantha decides to one-up her, walk onto her property, her house, yep. to fight her. I'm not saying it was she... right. I'm saying that's what happened. And you guys killed her dog? Uh, no. We who was defend... trying to protect her? We defended our friend who was going to lose to the dog. Um, it was three versus one. Uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't three. So, you, you couldn't have just knocked you. you see, oh, Sam okay, Sam I see. Samantha was involved in a fight with it, her the dog, and had managed to damage it, but it was going to maul her, and so we decided to defend our friend, and okay. then Samantha got even more weird. Depending on what happened, she kind of lost it more, and was like, "Well." Uh, we should take the body because her family is very well known, you see, and she couldn't, didn't want to get embroiled in some sort of police related incident. So, and to keep us silent, which I'm not being right now, uh, we all had to take a piece. Wait, did you, did you cut the dog? Did you cut it? You cut I, well, the corpse I, we, we didn't, I didn't need much help after what had happened. Me. This is a mess. No. This is so messy. Yeah, it's oh, terrible. God. It's terrible and awful. That's why she asked her friend to leave. Um, I assume, based on what happened in the warehouse, that she wanted something very similar for Samantha. Uh, but she didn't get enough of us, you see, to do it in reverse. If you know what I get, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
on the other hand, she'll think about it in kind of a dark way. She'll be like, if that had been the case, we would have all lived. Samantha wouldn't have. Uh, because thinking about what she would have done. Not, not nobody's on the right in this. I, I don't think it I was right you guys for your said... friend. I don't think it was right for your friend to, at least especially like, I don't think I don't think she was no, thinking. Goes... I don't think especially thinking that you know she has a big dog to go. You know, I I but... think she she flew off the handle. Was obviously enraged by something that Linda did and decided to confront her personally and she had simply forgotten basically about yeah. her large dog and <laughs> this entailed a whole mess of problems that just all, all came on top of each other basically all right. all right i think i get the idea i look at the rest yeah. of the party she said it was horrible getting... nope that's that's understandable i look looking for Silently looking at facial expressions and thoughts. I think some people probably like put their pizza down. <laughs> it's like, whoa, that's fucked up. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. I should Derek just kept. Derek just kept eating. <laughs> yeah, D Dean Dean's still eating his his uh pep. But I don't. I don't, know, I don't, so I don't, I don't, I don't say this. this, this that's that definitely messed up. Yeah. I don't Where think... did she end up getting her her magic powers, though? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get how she was able to do that. She didn't have them before. Like I, I don't know. She wasn't let a me, witch. Let me ask. Let me ask you this. Um, I'll do by the way, the quiet ones. Other, like, other you than really, shouldn't you shouldn't do this? I sound. Like, you can see her expression. Like you're gonna. Like she's like her Samantha's gone. Okay, Samantha has has just she's not here anymore. I get that we did something wrong, but Samantha's really gone. Like mentally gone. Well, she you ask her about it, and she'll she'll deny that anything. She'll deny it till she's blue in her face. Her she has mm -hmm. mentally blocked that out, and she I mean she knows I'm sure somewhere but she she has basically put herself into a state of denial about it look what we what we think that we need to do how did the rest how many cheerleaders were actually there my sister almost got caught up in this and she goes that was basically one of the reasons why i'm like oh no we need to we need to end this she, she's a she doesn't deserve that she's not involved um mm -hmm. she, if we so weren't... we heard a fight was going down so what how many cheerleaders do you think went all of them because they went <laughs> well I, I i i don't actually know how many cheerleaders there are well so. i mean not not the entire you just like the entire squad but all of the people in the close you know like mm -hmm. well in the friend group like all the all the ones i'd like to you know, so there's, a, so a there's, decent amount so there's six or seven of you yes maybe let's say that how do the other other four or five feel about the current situation of them um, having the bones of a dead dog? Uh, Cherish uh, hopes that she gets caught but doesn't want to get caught in the crossfire. Um, hopes that Samantha gets caught. Yeah, uh, Valeria. But, but she doesn't. Yeah, Valeria okay. Klein uh, is kind of an airhead and doesn't quite grasp the gravity of the situation like she's sure she's understands she the really bad does. happened but she's 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 not bright uh mm -hmm. was it there's uh anna and anna is the only person more strong than me and anna was one of the other people that was involved in that little melee but as for her leanings i have no idea mm -hmm. um so at least at least four of you are are upset about being pulled into this situation we went to we went um, to help our friend we saw our friend going to be mauled by a dog and we we and tried. that's yeah. understandable I, yep, but she, no, but I, she I, convinced I, you she convinced you to take pieces of that animal to silence you that seems pretty terrible she said it was that, pretty terrible but if she's the head cheerleader she if she's out then who knows we're, you know that we're going to go to finals soon and yes well, that looped completely around from the beginning well I, even Never so mind. i gotta so you guys <laughs> you even if you guys went but it sounds like if 
she ever got caught, she was absolutely going to drag you guys down with you. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like she yeah, didn't like, have what... any second thoughts about it's, your well-being. That sound like it's a good one of those, of those moments where, like, she had that, you know what I mean? She had the, um, she doesn't say, she has a presence, whether or not you like it, that in that moment it sounded like we were responsible and that we should be, you know what I mean? Like she convinced us. In the, in the, in the heat of the moment. Yeah. In the heat of the moment, yeah. everybody was afraid of what was going on yeah. and you all complied to stick together because that's what friends do. But friends, this far in the aftermath see their friend who is mentally sick yeah. and needs help and have to come up with a plan to help her she went there to hurt somebody and now it's it's fallen on a lot of people and so if we could come up with a plan to have it so that samantha takes the fall for what she caused then she can get the help that she needs. That's what I, we want. We don't want her. Wanna... We don't want her necessarily to get to get hurt or 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 ridiculed. We just want her to be able to get the help that she needs, so that Linda can heal, so that Samantha can heal, and so that we can get past this. I feel like that makes sense, right? Past, I feel like if we don't get past this, it's just going to lead to more horrible things happening. And more people who have nothing to do with it, like Stephanie, getting dragged in. If if tonight we if things didn't happen the way they were tonight, there'd be a lot of I don't I don't think I need to say exactly what would happen to you guys. I'm not I'm just not a threat or anything like that. I'm just you, you understand what I'm trying to say. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea what other things that she could do. I she said something about the collar in the car, but I I don't know if that's related if she has some other tools i didn't know she could do magic until this happened it's only been again, like a few days again we she's tapped into something bad and if we can pull her away from that then we we help her and we make it so that that bad thing has less tools to hurt other people and that's what we're concerned about right now yes. so help us fix this situation if if the the two of you and the other two who seem like they're not ha you know the airhead and the one who's not happy with the situation will give us the evidence then we can anonymous anonymously if everybody else feels like this is a, a good course of action we can anonymously make it so that those bones are tied to her i know exactly know how we'll do that but if we can if we can say, hey, this person, you know, murdered a dog and made this other person kind of lose their mind, then Linda gets the closure that she is seeking and the justice that she's seeking for her dog. And then Samantha can get the have to face needs. it and, and hopefully face the situation. And and, you know, again, I don't I don't hate her i mean she's kind of a crappy person but you know that's not always her fault if we can help her then maybe she can actually turn out to be a decent person you know isn't that what we all want yeah isn't that what you want for your so friend? your so your plan is we get the bones from all of the cheerleaders and then do what with them I don't know yet. We're, we could put we could put just... them in her. We could put them all back in her um, locker and then notify the police. What is your wish? Yeah, that's kind of. What does your wish cover? Mm -hmm. Out of curiosity, Derek. Like, can you Stadium? do a can you do a living creature with your wish, or can you just do like money? No, no, I, I no, no, no. I, I can. You can't like resurrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. So I, get I mean, I could. I mean, maybe I could resurrect uh, Mister Pumpernickel as like one of my minions. <laughs> but I'm not sure she'd like a, that. Would, that <laughs> might that might tip everything in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, let's make it sure. <laughs> no, um, I was that wasn't what I was thinking. Again, I was what I was what I was kind of pushing towards is because we have the bones out of her locker, so we could literally put everything back in her locker with the bones. <laughs> just, uh, dump it in. Dump clean, it in. <laughs> clean, clean, 
clean, <laughs> incriminating you know, evidence, clean Gwendolyn. fingerprints. <laughs> Everything's it all a crime in, with you, isn't it? They're trying to frame frame her for a, a, a dog aside for the for the crime that she committed. I mean, it is. I believe. I mean, at the time, it you know, it wasn't necessarily like a uh oh shit. It might have been more like a misdemeanor for for murdering an animal, but still, you you've taken somebody's personal property away from them, so that's still a crime. Um, you know, I don't know exactly how we're gonna look. I'm just getting this information. You know, so I don't know exactly how we're going to do it, but let's gather up as much of the evidence as we can and, you know, pr- present it in some to to someone in some way uh, so the- that keeps <laughs> us out of it and and makes it so that we can create some healing situation, you know, as opposed. And, and again, not even that I want to see her her injured from this. I just want to see her, you know, face reality and and let everybody start to heal so the cloven foot investigators first action is to frame someone for a crime for the crime it's... that they committed um i don't i don't <laughs> think not see, framing. i don't think I this feel... is framing no, i feel like framing. it's it's I feel revealing like it's, it's, okay. it's yeah. revealing yeah. Yeah. yeah i feel like i feel, like if I feel... It... Go, sorry yeah, go ahead no no you first um i feel like if we paint her as a criminal uh frame her for a crime um, like that's only gonna put her on a defensive. Like I don't think that we necessarily need to like blame, like criminally blame her, but you know, facing reality versus like facing jail or whatever is two different things. I do think well, that we can confront her with the bones and kind of like you know shake her, shake her, uh, shake some sense into her. But I don't. Well, what think if we that... do this? What if we do this? What if sorry, sorry to cut you off, but just kind of jumped in my head. If we got all the bones and we put them into her locker with a note that said, "Your friends aren't behind you anymore. You need to deal with this." I think she might get freaked out because it sounds like well, the teacher's going to get involved too if they just yeah, bones in exactly someone's peeps on his locker. She already has bones in her locker, though. Do you want to write that letter in like little like print te- uh, cut out uh, letters from a newspaper? Little ransom I have, note. I can, I can, I can pull some magazines out of thin air, and we can cut them out of those. <laughs> I, I, I feel like, I mean, I think I don't know you this that. thing, and like, I feel like in a perfect world, we find a way to. Um, we, I, I think this is. I honestly think that this has gone too far. I feel like it, it's obviously gotten too far, and it needs to stop. And mm-hmm. honestly, if the right thing to do is all parties, because Linda's not like she did something to cause the other girl to snap too. Like they're both of them are, you know, I don't know what Linda I mean, did, but uh, it's, again, it's, it's, I, I feel I like, that that I feel was... like, sorry, no, I just, I feel like, what did Linda do actually? And that's, that was, that's, yeah, that's, that's what she, I want to get out. She hit, she hit on her boyfriend. That's normal stuff. You don't kill someone's dog because, no, you like, don't. And you also don't, you don't like go to that person's house and, and try to have a physical altercation with them because they're hitting on your boyfriend. If your boyfriend doesn't isn't isn't into you anymore, and he leaves you for somebody else, that's what happens. It hurts. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Sure, but you don't you know you don't do crazy stuff, you know. But when somebody murders your dog in 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 front of you, you know what? You do crazy stuff. I kind of feel bad for Linda. She went way way overboard, but she did what what she felt like she had to do, and that's why I want to help her. That's why I don't want to. I don't want to demonize I don't wanna, her. I don't want to demon. Yeah. All right. This. But I'd like to. I'd also like to get to the so bottom I... of whatever she's dealing with, so that we can deal with with the source of the problem, as opposed to, you know, the the henchman. Do you think we'll actually find a happy ending trying to? I think we should try. I think we should, so, at the very least, try. And I look at the two the two cheerleaders again. I'm like, the two of you don't want anything bad to happen to your friend. Samantha, you don't want anything bad to happen to her. Uh, the the quiet one will actually say something now and goes, uh, the only problem I see with your plan is that uh, her family has a lot of money and power, and my guess is those charges will go away. I don't, you... I'm not, again, I'm, I'm not concerned about her getting charged with anything. I want to see her deal with the situation and, and maybe grow up a little bit. Isn't but again, so again, the question is, 
don't you want to see your friend helped? No, not because she's because she's clearly got a little bit of a sickness that if she doesn't deal with, it's only going to get worse. And she's trying to drag you into it. No, they'll they'll agree to the things you're saying, pretty much. Like this is not. So we we get the other two or three uh, cheerleaders to to you know to say okay we're not we don't want any, anything to do with this anymore. So we can have at least all or most of that creature, and we don't have to get her parents involved. We we just let her know that she's on her own in this and she needs to figure out a way to make it right and that we're willing to help her do that. Okay. That, I mean, that... why don't, why can't we just sit her, sit her ass down and have a good old fashioned intervention? Well, again, that's what I'm kind of lead. I'm trying to lead it to is if she goes into her locker in the next couple of days and finds <laughs> all the bones in there and has to realize that, wow, I I did that. I have to deal with this now, and and you know, and and there are people who are actually willing, for whatever reason, are actually willing to try to mediate something for me. Maybe she'll maybe she'll pull her head out of her ass and and realize that this is an opportunity, and not you know, like I could either become really embarrassed by this or. I could, I can deal with it and try to fix the problem. I mean, in a sense, we kind of have to say, look, if you don't deal with this, then the whole school is going to know that, that, you know, you murdered a dog and tried to, tried to rope a bunch of people into it. That doesn't look good on your college resume, does it? Even if, also, even if she, uh, even if her parents bury this with their millions of dollars of lawyers, you think she's going to live down at school? Yeah. And the, the harder you try to bury right? this kind of stuff, it, it will all – the harder you try to bury it, the, the, the easier it is to follow you. Deal with it. Fix it. You know, let's be, let's be quiet about it, but let's fix it. Get the two of them to understand that this was a, a terrible bunch of circumstances, and Linda needs to do something to, to – to, uh, pay her back in some way and Linda needs to accept the fact that she had her part in, in riling the situation up and took it way too far and it's time to just get over it I mean I, I, it's, 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 a, it's a little bit messy but you know we can either, we can either walk away and watch and watch more terror happen and, and potentially see you know, and I look at the two of them the two of you Yes, you were you were involved, but in your in, I think that the two of you were trying to help your friend out of a bad situation. I don't necessarily agree with the way you did it, but I get what you did. But it, I don't want to see the two of you get hurt. I don't want to see innocent people like Stephanie get hurt. And I don't. I, I I'd rather not this have this be you know the 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 way that the town is. You know that that's not that doesn't help. Um, yeah, so, so let's all help each other. Friend, they both agree. Uh, Francesca goes, yeah, there is something weird about the town. I, I, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but there's some, some strange stuff, for sure. I, I think that the like what four of us kind of like look at each other, like, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I this is a discussion for another time that I, I want to. I don't know what. What is she? What are? What are they talking about? One time, oh, one tea. time, fill the tea. One time, I saw two Jeffrey Donovans, two of them. Two Jeffrey Donovans. One was going to twins. the one went to a restroom, and one like wandered off a different direction. It just, I just saw two of them. I was that was I'm, a little weird. That's all. I'm I saying. write this down. I'm gonna two write Jeffrey this down. Donovans? I'm also gonna two yeah. Jeffrey. Yeah, that two sounds Jeffrey. like the start of another adventure, guys. <laughs> weird. Who's Jeffrey Donovan. Don't we have a? You know Jeffrey Donovan. Stop, Dean. Well, he's Dean's still pretty new. I I, I kind of know Dean, who Jeffrey Dean, is, but uh, I mean, if you if you go back to your, your little adventure, uh, one of them was called Jeffrey. He goes, he was one of the one that was complaining. Oh, 
Oh. Um, on your side quest. <laughs> oh, that's ch- oh, he's he's bad news. Well, maybe he's we not. definitely got maybe a- maybe his doppelganger's bad news, and Jeffrey's getting pinned for it. Um, but I don't know what you're talking about. So <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> I mean, it's just there's just something odd about that school, but you know, it's 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 our school, so you know. Um, yeah, and I mean, but you know what? If 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 the people who are in the know don't find ways to connect with one another and try to deal with it, then it's only going to get worse. So if you're willing to help help us, then you know maybe we can use you as a as a source or as an anonymous source for the paper that that you know we're going to write and you know and uncover some of these these weird and terrible things um and uh i look at amos and like you know i think the newspaper is going to be a great way for us to you know uh, uh to deal with this kind of stuff um I hope that you're actually on board with this concept. <laughs> honestly, I was I was gonna say let's to be the literary club, but on honestly, this is probably the best. No newspaper club works. I can't wait till you guys start doing like yeah. Spider Man articles on yourselves. Wizard mage see outside of school. I <laughs> just have like some. Look... Your... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gonna go. I look forward to writing articles like really goes like like Spider Man like, uh, detailing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do they keep getting pictures of these? Of these they find Spider Man every time. These weird superheroes. <laughs> it's fine. I just I just broadcast my thought ten ten miles away. Yeah. Um. um. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I just I just future project of like they're gonna start doing goofy shit with this. I just know it. <laughs> That's uh, fine. So I I think that maybe we should um, put a pin in all this. Okay. I think we're done with our pizza. How yeah. the two of you feel better? You oh, both look after the longest way walk better. for drinks. She brings drinks. Uh, everybody, we we good with the Stephanie's? Like uh, everything's. I give good. I give a thumbs up. Yeah, mm-hmm. thumbs up. Okay, shakes and stuff. Oh, a smoothie store. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I think it's about time hand. we head in. Yeah. <laughs> I look at my empty hand like I'm like, where'd my smoothie go? I didn't get a smoothie. You didn't hey, ask. I can make myself a smoothie. <laughs> So you want to roll for that? Do, that. do you want to roll oh, for a smoothie? Um, are, I mean, you, are you no. really going to wish a smoothie? That's the waste of a power I've ever seen. <laughs> right in front of everybody. That would be awesome. You know, oh wait. You could do magic tricks oh, and sell, you know. That's literally what this is. It's like, like real magic. <laughs> um, nope. Nope. I'm going to at least wait till I drop two of them off. Uh, yeah, Claire, let's. Uh, Claire, let's, I thank think... you for the jacket, Claire. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. no problem. No problem. You look like you were uh, tired and exhausted. Thanks for coming out for pizza with us. Thank you for the pizza. All right, let's yeah. get everybody home. We have school um, tomorrow, don't we? Yup. It's, it's gonna yep. be Friday. Oh, right. That was the other thing. Is it they, Friday? It, it's, yes. going to, it's going to be Friday the next day. It was Thursday. I had to go back and track it. And so today, next day will be Friday. And as I said like three sessions ago or something tuesday and friday is cheer practice why i don't know those were the days i picked <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so they have to go Tomorrow's to cheer a weird pra- day. the weird day at cheer practice i'm sure all right well you've all you're all carved up so let's get you home um yeah and uh we got a couple things we got to do and um we can all get to bed uh all right all right um, uh Fast forward, or what do you want me to do? I assume. Yeah, I, I, we drop the two of them off, uh, drop Eddie off, drop, um, Claire and Stephanie off, uh, drop, um, Amos off, and then I'm gonna, uh, have the car. Be, it'll just be me and Dean in the car. Like, uh, all right. So, Dean, you can fly, right? Yeah, why? Um, well, because I have to drop this car back off at the school. Um, and, Do you know whose uh, car this is anyway? Nope. I didn't really look around to find out. All right. Hey, listen, you know, just for future reference, like, people have to wait four hours before they report their car stolen, or the, the or maybe mm-hmm. the police have to wait four hours before they respond to a mm-hmm. car being stolen. So maybe uh-huh. in the future, like, uh, we should steal more than one car. 
you know, steal a car, oh. drive somewhere, steal another car there, drive back, like that sort of thing. Um, hey. I, the crazy ways that you think um, make me nervous and happy. So Eric? my question was going to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it, it, no, 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 and, no. And by the way, listen, listen that Jeffrey character that that girl, that girl was talking about, he's bad news. He's He's definitely bad news. Cool. I don't that know if he's in, involved in all of this, but he's he's not good. Didn't you say something, or somebody said something about snake or lizard people yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. He was he was one of those people. He like basically pulled his face off because it was com- more comfortable that way. I mean, I know sometimes like what I mean? wear like my clothes are too tight. Oh man, you know, I'm t- I'm really tired. Whew. My brain is uh, like racing like a million miles per hour. That's all right, though. Just go yeah, for the ride. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jeffrey, so Jeffrey I was, bad. Yeah. No, no. I believe you. I believe you. I just, you know. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to drop this car off. I don't mind walking home, but I, if you're tired and you can't do it, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but that's, cool. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, could, like, I, can, I can totally fly you, you home. Can, that's cool. Do, yeah, cool. Do you, you want give me, me a to, uh, right on. Do you want me to paste into uh, the chat? Uh, this up to Zepo completely. Do you want me to paste, paste into chat what actually happened? Because you're going to tell him eventually on the ride over or somewhere. Like, because I just want you to know if you want me to do that or you just want to be do that in character. That's, that's I just wanted. Are to you know. talking about the the the, the, the conversation thing. that you? Had... Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, you you can you can you can you can post it in the chat. Okay, that uh, way I, I will. Just... I will tell. Uh, 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 Derek, everything verbatim. Okay. That way you put it in the chat. It's verbatim. And I put it. In, I'll put it in the the Facebook chat as well. This might be the format might be easier. I just wanted to yeah, ask just, first if you just wanted me to do that, or you wanted to only have it as you, you telling him that, which is also funny. But I just wanted you know for clarity's sake, if you wanted. Me yeah, to no, do that's 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 fine. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, uh, I'm going to uh, try to casually drive the car, make sure there aren't any um, police around, and just park it uh, con- inconspicuously on like the other side of the school. So whoever it was that had whose car it was com- will eventually find it and be like, "Oh, oh, I parked it here. This is so weird." And I'm going to uh, put everything back so they should be able to start it up without a problem. If you want me to roll for that, I will. Um, well, well, Derek, you're you're a better you're a better man than I because I would have just pushed the car in the river. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I I, I try not to do stuff like that. Um, uh, I well, am me gonna... too. I try not to do that. I just I've never had the opportunity. I've never stolen a car before. <clears throat> sure. Um, I would. Yeah. No, it's cool. I. Um, all right. So I rolled. Uh, I actually rolled an eleven yep. plus two. So I'm gonna push everything back together um, mechanically, and I'm also gonna uh, roll the odometer back a hundred miles. <laughs> and I get two. I get two things. So those are the two things oh I'm gonna God. do. Such an abuse. <laughs> this is gonna bite you. One of these days, it's gonna bite you so bad. Oh yeah, I I plan on I plan on. I'm bleeding heavily, um, <laughs> but you know what? I just I'll just drink my own blood. I think I think the joke that I'm going with is every time he does it, it just gets a little bit worse. And so as he's yeah. continuing to do it, the, the the catastrophic failure will just be that much higher. <laughs> like <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> So keep making those rolls, man. Keep making those rolls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they, it's, it's the simple. They're simple things. I'm not. I'm not messing with reality. I guess I'm messing with reality pretty hard. hard. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. You're you're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> um. Okay. So um. Yeah. So I guess uh, Dean will then. Um. I don't know. Like, carry me in his bird legs. I don't know on his back cuddle uh, cradle me like a baby <laughs> fly me home <laughs> no matter no matter how no matter how you slice Wait. this is this is going to be a little awkward <laughs> uh cue, cue the music from titanic 
Oh I man. God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that I'm yeah. totally okay. supermaning right now. Like I You're just like, gonna enjoy this like as much as I can. <laughs> like Lois Lane right now. Lois Lane. <laughs> uh, so time will go forward. Anybody now with any points you've spent, if you haven't already, you can buy any of the abilities, any of the things that you need to do. Or we can, you can just do that when we're not in session. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Just now that that part is resolved, for the most part, you can spend points. All right. Was, um, and this is uh, fa fail. Like every time you failed, all, all the experience that you currently have, you can. How you much can, does it cost to, to buy anything? Uh, depends on what you're buying. Like, say, if it's um, on my own, I know it's like I think it's double if you're trying to get something from a different. Uh, that's it's negative. double from a different from a different path, yes. Um, mm. So it works at stats get exponentially higher um, as you buy points. Um, normal stuff within your path, uh, you pay only a point usually, and if it's stuff outside your normal, it's two. It's so how much points is it to like in my normal? Uh, so also there is a conversion between experience and heroic achievement and i just gotta look at that xp section real quick okay sorry i i know there's yeah i see the heroic achievement stuff at the bottom of my uh, sheet do, 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 do. xp where are we i have tabs but i just have to get to them okay so that's to get xp that's weapons where are When you have everything marked off, but yet somehow, hold on. Two minutes reloading. <laughs> uh, let's see, agenda, yeah. end of session. I'm just gonna look up heroic achievement in the index and then go backwards, that's what we'll do. For some reason, I don't have that tapped. Add GM. H. Combat. GM agenda. Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. No, no, no worries. Sorry, this is just. It's just I want to know how many points I can spend. So it you have to you have to spend six experience to get yeah. a heroic achievement point. Her heroic achievement point, and then you can how many those. heroic achievement points do you need to go from a negative one to a zero? Was it was that just one? Yeah, I think so. But let me, like I said, I'm trying to find that section, and for some reason, I'm having the hardest time. Yeah, I get you. Because I was trying to read through, because I'm trying to figure out how to fix. Because I'm a, I'm a frontline fighter. I need to be a frontline fighter if I'm going to use my, my, main move. Um, unless you're okay with me using the thing that I was, I was you, but I can't use my my vampiric thing unless I'm close enough to touch them. Is what you, you basically said. Right. So I have to be a frontline fighter. Which means I need to fix my physical. Stealthy, fine forms. Well, I'm having an issue finding. I know it exists. Like, <laughs> like, I flipped through this book like fucking ten times, but the actual section where it goes from conversions, and you think it would be after. I see it. Gain there. It is. Advancement. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. Fifty-one. Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I literally looked at it right as you found it. <laughs> uh, it costs um, two to go from negative to zero. All right. Okay, so let's put <laughs> let's put uh, leveling in the middle of the book. Okay, I'm gonna tap of that. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's where everyone looks. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. And that's getting a tab, so I don't have to have that. Two or three minutes of fuddling. Okay, so achievement points. 
Yeah, it's just one to get it from the same um, move or everyday identity, and two from a different one. All right, so, and it costs six points. Right, to so get you can it. actually use it to get everyday identity powers, too, as long as they're the same as yours. Or you could do something funny, like spend two and get a different identity power. I, it doesn't say you can't. All right. So, I, all right, do, would you like to know what I spent my things on, or do you want sure. me to Sure, go ahead. All right. oh, I know before... Go ahead. Hmm? Like right now, before I remember me making a mention, I made I got a personal minion. I'm not quite uh sure exactly what it is. Yeah. I'm something something spider related. Okay. Uh, and I still got points left, and I'm not quite sure. I might just save it up so I can. Yeah, weapons buy also off. count as things you could buy with points. A weapon is a point. A specially cool weapon is like two points. Basically, you keep can keep increasing it up to like a up to a maximum obviously you can't have like a four sword or something you would you would turn people in cut them in half like cheese would you know what i mean mm -hmm. like, but just so you know that can also be bald points okay i think i might save them for so i can get more i can buy something off of my my um my list i just wanted to give everybody opportunity to upgrade themselves before the next part of an arc or whatever you know, so I yeah, I I just want to figure out like how this works exactly. I I can choose a power from the everyday identity, the magical archetype, or the mystical connection. Like either yes. one of those, any one of those. The question is, uh, if it's within the same one as you, then it only costs one. If it's right, right, if one it's... hero like, achievement oh, point or achievement point, correct? Okay. Which is a conversion from your XP. Six XP to one hero to achievement. one. Yeah, heroic achievement. Point. Okay, and then so, I there's also like a level up thing, or how does that work? There is no level up thing. You can increase your stats though up to three by spending heroic achievement points. And that just is a modifier to all stats. You can you can just raise your core stats, which is another thing, which will modify everything else probably depending on what you're using. You know, um, if, if you have a if you have a zero, you can spend one to make a one, uh, but you need to spend two to make it go from a one to a two so that right. modifier that modifier modifies every stat i mean it modifies no, just the one just the just the so you're you can increase a stat which will then modify roles because your stat is higher oh so you can just choose a stat to increase correct got it mm -hmm. okay straight up stat increases okay so i feel like i played on my laptop before and i actually did have more experience points <laughs> I feel like you said that was last time. Yeah, well, I did probably because I am on my desktop right now. Boy, how much did you think you had? I, I'll have to go look. Okay, well, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure I. Well, okay, I gotta go find. Hold on, I gotta go find my other character sheet because I'm pretty actually. sure I, I actually took a skill. But, um, that might have been. But I'm not sure. I let me double check with my laptop. Okay. During that, I, little... I think I know what I wanted to spend this on. I lied. During that brief moment, I'm gonna put a new tab on there so I can find this section, <laughs> not be lost. Oh, go ahead. I mean, if you, if you know, eventually I will need updated sheets, but it's not a critical thing at this moment. Let's see. No, I just wanted to take this file because I wasn't. Now that I know we're going to be continuing this, I'm totally going to take this. I, I do have plot threads left, including more uh, of these individuals that you'll have to deal with. Oh, I'm excited. I, I'm not thrilled. <laughs> that, so you get a taste of what my, the villains are like in this setting, so that's what they're like. Um, well, I'm going to throw you a bone. I'm going to take a Dreams of Prophecy. Oh, oh, good. That'll be fun for me, too. Oh, it's going to be great. I, I wanted to take that F1 at first, so I'm happy I'm able to actually able to take it. It's on page 27, so whenever nice. the art does start, you can hamper me as much as possible. I'm excited. <laughs> what did you just take, Claire? Uh, I took Dreams. Of, it's a purse. This is a personal uh, everyday identity bower. At the uh -huh. start of an arc, I have to roll a mystical and I get a vision. And whether it's something good or 
it's it's a it's a whether it's a clear vision, a hazy vision, or I get hampered by something. Yeah, I'll probably do that after we we finish spending points. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no worries. I just wanted to let you know so you are, you know, I bought it. Personality. I was actually looking at I was actually looking under the under Dreamer. Um there's a there's a move called uh it all fits together. Oh, I got that one too. Of, yeah, I was actually thinking it's about taking cool. you Yeah, so like because I already have one where I have like all like I have the the wish to have all those options. So if I took this one, I would have a whole bunch of new options. Yeah, and you just should become do it. Super utilitarian. Do it. I won't be it the only one to be able to do it. it Amos it decides to take an my... attack power just to balance him out. It's like I have no way to hit people. <laughs> like I have yeah, no I still combat don't... ability. Oh I shit! Still combat abilities my... are important. I well, so I I've kind of fixed that because of of uh, uh, Brian's um, wonderful uh, uh, game mastery um, and letting me use my use my telecon use my my knife basically telekinetically. That was that was lovely. I loved it, but I don't get to use my vampiric touch. You have to. Clip. I've been a, yeah. so I could eventually use my vampiric touch. Problem is, I've got a negative one to. To my physical attack so i don't know how to resolve this you could try so, to do something funky like i don't know get like turn into mist or like go really fast so you don't actually like have to like physically you just like poof up behind them and be like that nah. <laughs> yeah but again I'm, I'm 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 still making a roll with my yeah. physical at a sure. negative one and so <laughs> you know and i don't want to i don't want to spend my i have two points right now i don't want to spend my two points to make that a, to make that a zero when I can buy something really cool because I mean you've already give I've already got a plus a, basically a plus two knife because yeah. that happened um, uh, so and again I can okay I can just become a ranged fighter and then when I need the health I'll just run up and take my chances hmm. um, but if I don't get hit then it doesn't matter right so, true yeah. Know. Okay. Uh, let me know when people are done spending points slash they're willing to let me keep going. I just, I just want everybody to get a chance to do what they want to do to their characters. I'm done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait because uh, well, for reasons. Yeah, also, I think I might just like look this over in my own time. and No, and that's get fine. That's why I didn't, want, I didn't want to rush you, but I wanted to give you the time to be like this is, you know, this is how it works and also any questions, obviously. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need time as well. So that's fine. Um, nothing immediately bad should happen, probably. All right. Uh, everybody goes to sleep. Uh, Claire, did you want to use your ability now that you have I one? I do. Okay, yep. go ahead. Roll on that, and then tell me what you get. Okay, it's two d six plus my mystical. If I remember. Dream a little dream for me. <laughs> uh, I just realized I don't have dice on me. One second. <laughs> It's, I, no, today has been purely narrative, which I am perfectly okay with. I had to play like I don't know, like twenty dudes <laughs> today. So or it's twenty like ladies. Two d six plus like no my um. Yeah. Plus my um my. Uh nine. Okay, so what was nine? Um, I know. Let me give me the page. Page twenty seven. Right page twenty seven in the book. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I I found that with moderating, it's the gray area of rules that is the most fun. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All fits together. Dream of prophecy nine. On a seven to nine, you have a tough time piecing together the fragments of your dream. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is kind of messed up. Uh, you start hearing like, like violin music, and it's very soothing, and you're like. It's just I, don't, I can't imitate a sound of a violin, but it's very soothing and very nice. And there's like, oh, you're laying in a field, and then like it starts to pick up its pace, and like the ground starts to move a little bit, and the vines start to come up, and they turn like black, and then it like picks up more pace, and then like people in yellow robes are like shuffling around and like dancing and stuff, and like. Uh, then um, the ground kind of opens up 
and you see like like large pyramids and like a horrible vista or something and then you wake up Ooh. Ah, oh, that was really vivid. <laughs> you would have to roll for shock if you had if that was in reality, but because it's, it was a dream, uh, you're you're fine. You're just a, just minorly upset. <laughs> you know? Okay, I'll try to remember that dream. But again, what do you get from that? I don't know. A lot of weird stuff happened. That was maybe some of that stuff might pop up later. Maybe. All right, it is now Friday. Ding, ding. Uh, does everybody just go to school as normal? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. I, mean, I, think, I'm, I'm I, think, I don't think I grabbed that bag, so I'm probably like coming in there with a busted up backpack. <laughs> um, I, and I would probably have told Dean this, I will hold on to all of Samantha's, um, uh, all the things that we found of Samantha's that was problematic um i will have my regular backpack i will have an extra backpack for uh for eddie and then um i will uh bring all the other stuff um i will have actually dumped all of the other stuff uh last night at the school like on the on the um on the front steps like all of her just books and everything on the front on the front steps of the school so that she can get that all back. Okay. All the non-incriminating stuff and have just kept like, you know, the, the diary and the bones and other stuff. And that's at my house. Okay. Um, but uh, I have a backpack for you, Eddie. Hey, oh, I... hey, thanks. Uh, is this your old backpack? Uh, it's somebody's old backpack. Uh, it's oh, not uh, no, it's like it's super hot. flashy, but... It's a little, little warm. <laughs> It's, but well, yeah, I mean, you. you know, I mean, I, I think I, I think I picked it up from a thrift store. Uh, I believe I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> the less you say, the better. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you know, it's a thrift store. Yeah, I, I paid for this. Here you go. Well, thank you, Derek. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we got to look out for each other. Um, you were, you were awesome yesterday. By the way, uh, thanks. For um, thanks for saving those people. That was uh, brilliant of you. I still yeah. don't really know how I did it. It's I don't know, man. It, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I try not to think about stuff too much. I mean, I do, but I try not to. Um, you know, stuff happens, and uh, you have to just kind of roll with it. And um, you know, um, I don't know. It it worked. It all worked out, and everybody's safe and home. And uh, I, I think we did a good job. You know. Well, uh, anyway, I'll see you in homeroom. Yeah, you'll, you'll see all of them in homeroom because you're all in the same one. <laughs> um, just so you guys know, um, the elective slash free period is now when the Clovenfoot investigator thing is so that's when you're basically it's from then to whenever you leave so it's like elective to end of day like you know whatever it's do you had that's when the newspaper room will be open the club room mm -hmm. just so you know <laughs> all right um the question is do you guys want to what's around during the day like you go to your i can give you the order of classes again but i just Want to know if you guys are doing especially weird stuff like I don't know messing with her locker again, um, you know that sort of stuff. Well, we got to go talk to the cheerleaders, right? Okay. At some um, point. So they're not in your homeroom, so you're just gonna go with your homeroom as normal. Uh, yeah. so yeah, well, I mean, oh. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, I'm saying other than that, I think this. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go to the homeroom. We, we can talk there. Okay. Um, everyone goes into the homeroom. Eddie, and only Eddie, you can make a mental roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's mental. There's a mental stat. A mental? Yes, a mental roll as you walk into homeroom. And only Got Eddie. It. You made it? Yeah, that's... Um, By how much? I just I kind of uh, need to know. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, that's an eight. Okay. It's probably nothing, but the homeroom teacher fits about the right height and build, not exactly, of of a person that would be inside a van. Oh, that's odd, but yep, yep. Okay, okay. everybody can say to seats. So yeah, I'm I just going to write that, note that down somewhere. What's the name of my homeroom teacher again? It's uh, uh, Miss Nomura. Right, right, right. Got it. Nomura. Uh, Joanne Nomura. Uh, jo yeah, Joan Nomura. Yeah. But again, you it, it could be just someone who's her height, right? Like it, it was very pretty nondescript. You didn't see the person's face. It's just someone who is generally that height and maybe that stature. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. She welcomes all of the people at the homeroom. Uh, okay, if everyone just takes their seats. Um, it, it turns out that Samantha was was found, and uh, her family is very grateful. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, because I know if some of you are concerned. Um, and if there's no other questions, we can just proceed with the day and the roll call, and she'll go through the roll call. You guys don't have to do the whole roll call again. And uh, he'll, she'll check in to make sure everybody's in their seats. Um, okay. And then she just starts homeroom. Brian, I messaged, uh, well, everyone, I guess. Didn't you? Except this is the bus. He had to ride to school. Okay. So he'll come in later. That's fine. Yeah, he'll probably miss homeroom. Okay, good. I don't know. All right. Uh, she will mention at some point, Billy. Anyone seen after doing the roll call? Dean? Is Dean around? Uh, uh, I mean, it'll be a lot quieter, but thank you, uh, I guess. Uh, no one's seen him, though. Uh, we all look around like, hmm, have you seen Dean? Have you seen, <laughs> have you seen Dean? Dean the mm -hmm. days. It's, and one of the kids raises his hand, have you checked the bathroom? <laughs> uh no but that's not a bad idea i hear he, he visits it frequently he, i think he might have some digestive thing going i don't, I don't know um okay but generally she's she's very non-nonsense she just goes through okay through the list dean's not here no one knows where he is but he shows up later so it's not really a problem as much um, after a while, uh, homeroom will be dismissed. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. All right, so what's the plan? Well, we got to go talk to the cheerleaders. Um, uh, probably get the ones that we talked to yesterday. What did they go? Francesca? And we get the other They're going to stand up to their friends, especially with all of them there. Well, I mean, since we convinced them yesterday, like, it's probably. You know, it would help mm. to have them to kind of. You know, like one, once we get enough. I feel like once we get enough of the cheerleaders on one side or the other, the rest will just kind of fall in place. Cheerleaders are simple creatures. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, and again, we just have to, we just have to, to gather up the, the five, that were involved. And get them to understand that yeah. they can't let her control them because in doing so, they're actually hurting her. She's, you know, if we, and again, we have two. It sounds like one, one will be easy because they're kind of an, an airhead, as they said. And the other one is not happy with the situation either. Uh, and we just have to figure out who the fifth one is. I don't know if they mentioned that to us. Maybe uh, we just talked to her. They did. Uh, Anna. Anna. Right. Or Maybe Andy. we just talked to Anna uh, and say, hey, look, we know what happened. Um, 
and the other four girls are are interested in in you know resolving this issue where do you stand uh do you want to fall with samantha or do you want to help samantha and i mean if she's unless she's you know in love unless she's in love with samantha uh she's probably smart enough to go yeah let's let's fix this problem so i you know let's not let's not confront all of them because they they won't fall together in that in that regard um but if we can talk to her alone um uh, or even talk to her with one of the two from last night and, you know maybe she'll she'll follow uh follow the right path and um you know and i mean really we don't know exactly how we're going to do this i you know we really want to collect up all the bones i mean as much as you know i kind of would like to honestly so we could give them to linda so that linda could you know bury them and and at least feel a certain amount of closure in that regard um and then we can also let her know that look these the the other the other um the other cheerleaders are are you know trying are, are willing to try to make this right and we just have to convince samantha to um to deal with this in some way uh but again ugh, this is also messy and weird so i think we go talk to the first two that we think will be relatively easy mm-hmm you know, we close Look, them. We, let's let's grab the two that 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 are we've already talked to. Yeah, and then we'll to the have other four, two that, and then go to the, the fifth one. Yeah, that's. I think that that's the right way to do it. Yeah. Okay. So after homeroom, who do you approach first? Cherish Reed, the uh, unquote backstabbing bitch, or a Valerie, oh. the Valeria Klein, the airheaded one. Well, no, we were going to go find the the two that we had last night. Oh, okay. They because they're already uh, they're already on our side, in a sense. Yes. Okay. Uh, Dana and Francesca. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's easy enough to find them. Um, what do you do then? Um, I assume we're we're finding them where they're reasonably alone, or we can maybe like get them to like come and talk to us quickly. Just pull them off to the side. Yeah, and... yeah. Between classes, uh, I assume it's yeah. between homeroom, or whatever. Someone else want to take the lead on this, or you? Uh, hey, look. Where? Um, Your new friends? Oh. You want me to? You want me to do it? Yeah, you're, they're, uh, they're yeah. your friends. Oh I mean, yes. I think they're all of our friends. <laughs> no, I, I, they'll, they'll see you guys. They, you guys talked to them all last night. They'll just be like, mm -hmm. we, we know, we know pretty much why you're here. Um. Oh, what is it? What can we do for you? We were just hoping to resolve the situation, bring bring um, Anna and what was it? Uh, Samantha and Linda. Yeah, no, no, well, no, no, no. The, the, other, we, two the oh. other two that they spoke of is the airhead and the one who who so, wants, who kind of is on our side already. Cher in cherish. Resolving. I I think I get what you mean. Cherish. Uh, will turn on a dime if given enough purpose. Um, Valeria, um, if she thinks it's the good thing to do, at, at good in brackets, uh, mm -hmm. if she thinks it's the thing to do, she'll do it. Anna, mm -hmm. Anna is very simple, not dumb. Like it's not like a Valeria thing. Uh, she's. Uh, it, and she's she's already kind of muscular, right? So Francesca goes, I know this sounds weird coming for me, but she's a big girl. Uh, and uh, she's very simple about herself. <coughs> um, she's Samantha's friend and probably the strongest girl in the school. So, um, so let's get the other two to agree first, and then we'll go to her and and you know get that way again we we just want to we want to do this sooner rather than later yeah we, we just we pull wanna... them all aside we we want to just let them know what's like going on um and and explain 
you know that this is not the this is not how it's supposed to be um you know we we can we can help samantha we can help samantha find that path that's that's what we need to explain to them okay uh so you get them who are you gonna have them approach first now now you're kind of like a slightly bigger group um who's who's first on your agenda probably anna okay uh not cherish or valeria right just making sure i think no i was thinking it was one we're of gonna have to two, talk to right? them all eventually i know i just want to know what think, order we're going in i think cherish because it sounds like cherish is you know ready okay. to resolve this here uh valeria will will probably fall in line once you see the right. other three Francesca will be like, can the... I, uh, I think I should probably take lead on this, I think. Um, yeah. I know how to, I know, I know how to, I know how to talk to her. You and, know them, so that's, that's great. Um, yeah, okay. Um, she'll, she'll walk up, I know it's weird to have an NPC talk to an NPC, I'm aware of that, but this is a weird situation where, um, it makes sense, because you guys are like, oh, let's talk to her, she's like, she has a specific way that she needs to be talked to i've got this if if this will make amends a little bit for what we did and so she'll go up to her and be like hey girl how's it going great oh yeah that tarot she'll, she'll go back and forth like super loud like that listen we should really you know samantha and like yeah yeah i know samantha right and she'll very animated this is not like how you saw her talking earlier she talked yeah. in a very boyish weirdish way so she's like are you super loud with her and he's like so you know we've been thinking and between us that this is not not good anymore i mean we really wanted that that uh head cheerleader position right cherish I mean, you know you know saying like not no cherish um just right let me just make sure yep cherish cherish you know you i know you've always been gunning from second to like get the lead, lead position yeah well if she falls like socially you're in. You're gonna be. You're gonna be top. She's like, oh, yeah. You know, you're right. But she's got us. You know, she's got. The, we got the evidence and all that. It's like, no, no, no. They said that they they can work it out. We'll figure it out. Mm, come on. Oh, okay. That's like a bit of a delay. <sighs> who else is in on it? Like, who else? You know. And she'll go goes. Oh, the, the smart one. Oh, okay. She's in on too. Okay. What about, you know, Valeria? Like, she's not bright. Like, she's going to, like, mess this up somehow. Fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <sighs> All right. They come back to you and go, she's in. Cool. Right on. Um, great. Let's, um... Oh, it's let's, you guys. Just... <laughs> she recognized a couple because you talked to her before. Oh. Oh, hey. hey Good to see you. Okay. Um, who do you want to try to talk to next? She'll... Um, let's, let's get Valeria and then we'll, then we'll talk to Anna and that'll be everybody, right? Okay. Uh, so you talk to Valeria. She's busy staring at the ceiling. Is there something interesting that she saw earlier that day? Um, probably Jeffrey Dominovin. Uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, she'll look back down. Valeria, we were we were talking about something serious. Did you guys see that? Sorry. Uh, Can I look at whatever it was she was looking at? You do see like a black swish go by really fast. Oh. Yep, I'm gonna write a note down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. Oh, wait, awesome. what? Val, she <laughs> saw something in her weirdness. Just looked up and mm -hmm. then looked back down again. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of weirdness going on, huh? Yeah, um, it you know, looks at the other cheerleaders. Um, what's this about? What, uh, do you want me to answer, or are they sure. going to talk to each yeah, other? That, again? Um, uh, no, no, um, well, you can talk to her because in that moment it was, she was the best to go at it, because she's like, <laughs> no, 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 she has a specific way you have to talk to her. If you tried to, like... I, it's, it would be take longer to explain, but basically, she, she only likes to be talked to in a certain way. So, anyway. Oh. So maybe I should let the cheerleaders talk to her because. Oh, no, no, no. That was with the last one. She, Valeria doesn't oh, care okay. who talks to her. Okay. Um. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there was a lot of bad things that happened yesterday, and I look at the other two who had gotten taken. Um, and it oh, you're back. Of, and it kind of yeah yeah no everybody's everybody's back and safe and everything's everything's cool and and we just we just want to deal with the 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 source of the issue. And you were the four of you were involved with it. If you recall, oh, I'm trying to be like, oh, yeah, that was that of, wasn't so good. No, that was that sounded really bad, and 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 we don't want anything to happen to 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 the four of you because you were sticking up for your friend. You know, <clears throat> your friend is is sick, and, and she needs help. You know, what what you say, sir? She'll not. She'll, she'll agree to that. Yeah. Um. You know and. And we all just want to see her help. You know, we don't see anything bad happen to her. We just, we just don't want yesterday to be repeated. Um, mm -hmm. So we're just trying to get the f other five who were involved to, you know, be there with us. To yeah, we want um, we want you and Samantha to be able to move past this. That's all we're we're trying to get to. But um, to do that, we need we need you we need your help. Okay. She'll she'll agree because it's she understands the concept of doing something wrong. So she's like, oh yeah, that was bad. <clears throat> um, and it seems like her friends are <clears throat> saying that she should help. Um, one last weird thing before you she she joins your your group as you wander. She'll go, but why do you wear the cape indoors? As you walk, she's mm -hmm. saying that to me. Yeah, why are you wearing a cape indoors? They're like, don't worry about her. She's she has some issues. She's had them since she was a child. Don't worry about it. Am I wearing? I'm not wearing a cape, uh, no. but I wear a cape when I'm. Yeah. Why uh, are you wearing a cape indoors? I stare at her. Does she? Does she? Um. Does she give me a weird look or anything? Or... No. So just do. She'll, she'll look at you and I don't know. Just go. I, I don't. I'm a big fan of spiders. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, yep. We, I'm assuming I'm wearing I, a track shirt. Yeah, you don't look much different. Uh, but <laughs> she, but I think that I think that this is, is like a, a weird disguising rod. <laughs> she, I'm not saying again. She doesn't I, understand. No, you don't understand. She <laughs> does not understand what any of that means. Mm -hmm. She's just, mm -hmm. and the friends just look at her like she's nuts. They're like it's it's so I, normal for her to see weird things that she doesn't. Right, she she's, know she's, she's got a mental disorder. She doesn't. She doesn't realize <laughs> that she's that she's seeing things that other people don't see, but she's seeing through our our disguises. She's gonna start realizing that she's not actually airheaded. She just no, sees too no. much all the time. That's that's. I was just trying to get confirmation. <laughs> oh. Confirmation. Yeah, Valerie, do you, do you know somebody? She's the Chisei Hattori of the group. <laughs> she's what? The uh, from Ancient Magus Pride, the person who sees everything. Oh, good. Ah. I was I was asking the her. Uh, does, does she does she know somebody named Toby? <laughs> Toby, Toby. I I don't know a Toby. Uh, I think I, I would it, know a Toby. I would <laughs> think that you would you might know Toby. No, I met a paperclip you know, that talked about. once though. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yep. Was it Clippy? Uh, was it on <laughs> Was it on your computer? <laughs> Anyway, Did it ask you, know, you about cool. uh, wasn't updating to Windows? It wasn't talking to me. It was talking to somebody You have else. Microsoft Bob, and we just don't know it. Um, you know so, yeah. That's cool. Let's go find Anna. She has and, no idea um, what it means, though, which is the best part. No, that's cool. We got three minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. No, you're fine. I just thought, thought what time it was. Um, okay. Yeah, so we go find Anna. I'm assuming okay. that we're probably doing this, like, we probably... Go to throughout, our throughout the day, class. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we're um, kind of just yeah. skating through classes. You find her in the weight room. Surprise, surprise. She she moves her arms loudly enough. She must have like a few hundred pounds. Like, uh, no, we're really gonna do this, huh? The, <laughs> One of them. Was I, I just I just kind of like lean back. And, I was into women. That'd be the kind of woman I'd be into. <laughs> Let's go talk to her. <laughs> and I just okay. Walk right uh, over to her. Sure. She's a very imposing aura, but like she'll be like, yes. And she'll look at you guys. 
Uh, that she sees her friend. Oh, how's it going, guy? How you know, girls, girls? How's it going? Um, very like has like a like a very secure jaw, very like defined features. Like not athletic like the other girl. Like definitely like you're not sure. You know, like she works out a lot. And it's like, <laughs> um. I heard Samantha came back, so that was that was good. Yeah, these two came back too. Uh, um, the really quiet one starts a... kind of like skimmering towards the doorway. Uh... We were just hoping to speak to you about that, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, picks yeah. up menacingly, picks up a weight ball, just like curls it up in her hand. You thought you heard it crack. Puts it down. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, uh... we were hoping that we could. We can talk about that and maybe um, help, you know, you resolve the situation, help you all resolve the situation, um, you know, with Samantha so that you can, you can move on. Would Samantha have to be <clears throat> imprisoned or fined or, you know, she'll go down like a list of things. I mean, I we resolved would in a hope way that, that, yeah, we would hope that we could resolve this, um, you know, uh, in a more peaceful kind of a way. Yeah, um, just between yourselves, at least for yeah. now. Yeah, you if know, it just resolved, get it yeah. so that she acknowledges what she did, and and then maybe she could, we could find a way to, you know, make amends to Linda, and everyone can just kind of, you know live their lives a little bit more peacefully. Um, She'll say in a vaguely threatening way, as long as it's resolved peacefully and her name is not dragged through the mud, I am for ab it. Absolutely not. Don't, we, don't, again, we don't want anyone to get hurt. But, but what, what she did means that she's already hurting, right? Correct. I've noticed that she is not well. Even yeah. And as her closest friend, I have tried to help her, but it's her mind and not her body that is the problem. And and so for that reason, unfortunately, other people may have to get brought into it if we're really going to try to help her. But at least as as her friends, the five of you can stand together and say we care about you and we want you to to get help and if we have to go to somebody else to do that then we can come up with that solution um when the time comes but we're happy letting the five of you take lead on this your because... friends you can advocate for her okay she you noticed that if you're very careful, Anna does not like fly off the handle. She's not a maniac. It's more like mm -hmm. if it was something that would involve her honor or the family's honor or anything like that, she probably would do her best to defend it because I feel like an obligation is there. But because it seems to be something that is not going to directly do something like that, she's willing to listen to you. Think yeah. of her as like an extreme, like she is a guard dog. Like she is literally that personality. Like, she, she's, like she's like, she's like a Samantha's hired, big sister. She's submit very yes, her big sister who uh, hired, 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 hired help. Hi, hired help, mm -hmm. possibly. I don't know, but big uh, is the term. And but at least reasonable enough to know that her friend is, is wrong. Is, yeah, has got something going on and. It, it's better to resolve it now than to let it linger and, and fester into something horrible. Okay. The so that's resolved. You guys are going to have some sort of intervention soon. Uh, as you leave uh, to go to your next class, um, a friend of yours passes you in the hallway, and this is where I'm going to leave it for the moment. Is uh, it our friend who with the with the bones? It is. In fact, your friend with the bones. It's always him because it is. <laughs> Um, they get them away. Mm -hmm. Lewis Brady goes, ah, you know, guys, I'm so glad you guys became my friends. You know, like I didn't have many friends. Anyway, I'll see you at the club. And does his <laughs> thumbs up. 
Oh, man, I love so Lewis Bren. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, uh, boom, boom, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's going to see cool. us at the club? What does he mean by that? I think he's the newspaper. I think he joined the newspaper club. Oh, oh okay, okay. I, was, yeah, no, I wanted like, to make sure. No, yeah, I wanted he, to make sure it wasn't like. Yeah, yeah. I heard it's real popular. You you might even have like a couple more people. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, he disappears no. into the oh, crowd. <laughs> yeah. See you, Lewis. Right. Stay strong, Lewis. This is going to be our like quiet spot. Don't, don't encourage him. What? He's cool. Well, Lewis like is him. great. 